live. Anyway, I'm gonna fiddle with my mic for a second, hold on. Okay, there we go. Hi everyone. We're uh, gonna be playing some uh, Pokemans. Because I feel like it. And also because I finally came up with the halfway decent competitive team that I want to make for uh, for Generation 9. Also, thank you, Stream Elements, for finally telling me that we're going live. Which means the announcement should have gone in my other thing. And I'm going to join Cal, because Cal's going to be joining us, it seems. Hello, Cal. You say Pokemon, I say how high. <laughs> All right, let's. See. I got active immediately when you when you said Pokemon. I'm like, oh, I'm there. All right, here we are. <laughs> All right. Now, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, it actually yeah. works this time. That's the freaking hope. I I am not even going to bother putting that particular vod on my YouTube just because of how fucked up that stream was. And special guest Colleen. Oh, is Colleen gonna join us? That's interesting. Hello, Colleen. I don't think Colleen's ever been in, been in a stream at all. I don't think you have. Colleen, hi. Hello? Just so you know, we're streaming. Hello, Colleen. Oh, my goodness. Which means hey. I have to I have to get your little uh, PNG on my screen real quick. <laughs> that's that's so cool. My Discord icon is the worst. <laughs> well, it's, it's just, like, going to be your profile picture, basically. Yeah. No, I don't mind, but I'm just, like... I've had that icon for, I think, since 20... February of 2020? So, yeah. <laughs> just... I have so been procrast... Hi! Sorry, one. Oh, uh, Blaze is in chat saying, here to support but won't be able to actively say anything due to being in a tabletop game. We appreciate you being here anyway. We love you, Blaze. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, no, I've, I've had this for so long because I'm, I'm matching with someone. Ah, uh, fair uh, enough. <laughs> and she doesn't use Discord that much, so I feel bad if I change it. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But I, for... I've been procrastinating for so long trying to make my myself a reactable. It's just like I'm so lazy. <laughs> I don't want to do it. All right. <laughs> I think I means gonna have to add a new for... browser source. So do bear with me for a second. I gotta I gotta yeah. browser source and then. It's... Okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah. No. For context, this um. This and my my friend's icon that I'm matching with is a sketch from this famous artist whose stuff is in uh, the Met. And I visited the Met in high school with my art class, and my friend and I saw these sketches, and we were just dying. And it makes us feel better. Like, hey, if this stuff can land in the Met, we're decent as artists. <laughs> you know, the, uh, a banana taped to a wall made it into an art museum. Anything's and possible. It got eaten. LeBron's on the Lakers. Anything is possible. <laughs> oh man! All right, I, I think I'm gonna keep the keep the lo-fi on tonight, just while we're because because this is gonna be a fairly chill stream, all things considered. Um, I've got some oh, yeah. I've got some uh, video game lo-fi going on in the background. I'm gonna turn it down a little. Swag. Bit, um, is 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 the stream allowing that to happen? Yeah. That's very generous. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, it's it's super in the background, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Anyway, uh, I should probably, uh, stream my thing to you guys on Discord. Too. Are you sure you not? Are, are you sure you want to do that? We're gonna try it anyway. Hopefully, it works. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bear with us, stream. We're gonna we're gonna see if this works. Um, all right, here we go. So the plan for tonight is I am working on a competitive team for Generation Nine. Um, I okay. have a. Uh, list right at the moment of the Pokemon I want to use, and like just right at the moment, just kind of standard uh, sets for them. Um, I'm gonna flesh out the details at some point uh, when it comes to actual like move sets and EV pools and IV pools and you know shit like that. Um, uh, I do have a theme though, and I want you to guess by the name of this Pomot what the theme is. 
Oh my god. Why did you call him Wembley? Why did you do- I hate Wembley! <laughs> Why did you call him Wembley? <laughs> so, I hate this character so much! So the, the theme I'm going for with um, my competitive team this time around, because I like doing theme teams, is they're all going to be named after characters from Jim Henson Productions. Oh, so, nice. um, right at the moment, my list is a uh, Greninja. Obviously, that's going to be Kermit. Um, uh, a, a Corviknight named Chamberlain, uh, as in from the Dark Crystal. Um, oh, nice. A Gallade named Didymus. Uh, originally, it was a Lucario, so the name Didymus made more sense, but I wanted to keep the name and change out uh, mm. <laughs> Lucario for Gallade. Uh, Didymus and, is from the Labyrinth. And who could, who could forget the classic Jim Henson character, Mankey? Yeah. Mankey. Mankey. Actually, Mel, yeah. considering... It is, is, are you actually going to use Annihilate at all? Uh, am I going to use a what? Annihilate the evolution of... Oh, oh no, 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 no. This just happens to be in my party right at the moment. <laughs> okay. Because um, you while, while, while you're making this team, you do have a competitive Pokemon player in this call right now, so I can help whatever you need. Yeah, no. Oh. Mankey just happens to be in my party because I caught it um last night nice. and i just never anyway um uh the other few pokemon that i have right at the moment that i want to add are a garchomp named uncle deadly uh obviously wembley the palma and then an arcanine named barkley uh from sesame street uh i was gonna say sprocket from fraggle rock oh my god arcanine. sprocket oh uh you know what actually because i i've been kind of on the fence about arcanine mm -hmm. maybe if i add uh hold on oh um, um Stoutland. Guys, yeah, no, guys, for, uh, guys, Houndstone. I was thinking Lycanroc. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, for, for Sprocket, yeah. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Because I don't have any, I don't have any, I mean, I have a ground type with uh, Garchomp, but I don't have any rock types or anything like that. <laughs> now, Mel, I want to, I want to point out mm -hmm. in, like, Ranked Pokemon, they don't display nicknames. That's fair. I it, okay. I, I'm doing this mostly to amuse myself. <laughs> All right. I don't want to eat down because you would actually want to battle on this team and and have your opponents see your funny nicknames. Well, because I I did the same thing for Gen Eight. Um, I I did uh, Team Walt, which were all named after semi obscure Disney characters. Um, mm. Nice. Mm. Uh, which that one was fun. It was a Gyarados named Coral after Nemo's mom. Uh, a, a Whimsicott named Flora, after one of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. A Bisharp named Cora. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys to guess what that's from. Um, a, a Dragapult yeah. named Figment, uh, from the Journey into Imagination ride at Epcot. Uh, a mm -hmm. Frostmoth named Ada from A Bug's Life. And then a Beware named Faxon from Winnie the Pooh. You know, Mel, there is a very missed opportunity to name a bear skewed act of thing that killed Nemo's mom. <laughs> That's its name, the thing that killed Nemo's mom. <laughs> That's what he wouldn't even say. Dickhead that killed Nemo's mom. It's a little rough. Hey, you know, you know, Colleen, Barracuda's got to eat too. Yeah, That's a little go goat. I love oh, Skiddo. I, I, I love Skiddo and I love Go Goat. I think they're very underrated Pokemon. I also love Rockruff. Hi, Rockruff. They're actually very good Pokemon, actually. They're actually really good. Uh, there's a, a tiny little abomination against God right there. Dude, I hate, those things are so ugly. I hate them. I, I love that they evolve into so a po I love that they evolve into a Pokemon called Scovillain because it's a hot pepper <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, it's a little kid. Oh, I've already fought you. Name it. No. Um, hold on. So right at the moment, I'm working on Wembley, um, mm -hmm. which I need to because I wanted to, to evolve into Pomot, which means I gotta do that because you want to know what i do mel what? i i just take a rubber band and like and go to an area where there's no random encounters and i just put the, the rubber band on my between my two controller uh sticks and then i just put my controller on my desk until it actually works that's one way and to do you it wonder i wonder why you have joy con drift <laughs> i've had this hmm. pro controller since like 2019 and it's been it's been healthy it's it's so held together and I've got this thing on multiple occasions. I've thrown this thing against, not against the wall, but I've thrown this thing on the ground before, and it, it's fine. It's, I don't know. <laughs> the, the the green bird that just passed by a little bit, it kind of kind of looks like a Skeksis. 
from Dark Crystal? A oh, bit? Y yeah. What, what green bird? Hold on. Do you, do you... The little. Well, let me see if I can go back. Hold big on. headed, green looking thing. Um, but if you were to get like a, if you wanted to do Skeksis, you could do that that vulture Pokemon. Yeah. Well, that's um, that's why I have the Corviknight, cause I, cause I want this to, mm. I want this team to be like halfway decent. I want it to have good type coverage. So I put the <clears throat> yeah. Corviknight in because it's a flying steel type, uh, and I fucking yeah. love Corviknight. And I was like, what's a funny bird Muppet? And then I like I was like, and... oh, I don't even I don't even know like if I could if I could do a bird Muppet. What if I what if I look to the creatures? And then I was like, bird, Skeksis, Chamberlain. <laughs> that's that's the one that goes. And mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. un unfortunately, Mandibuzz is not in the game. Um. Oh, hold on. I don't have. I don't, I don't have Wembley out. Hi, Wembley. Um, well, I, I, okay, so, <laughs> the reason I, I named this thing Wembley, I originally had a Gardevoir on my team named Moki, um, but mm. I wanted to, I wanted to swap, swap Gardevoir out, but I wanted to keep the, the Fraggle Rock name, and eventually I was like, oh, I should put a, I should put a Palmot on my team, because Palmots are, are adorable, and they're also a really interesting typing, it's electric fighting. Um, so I looked up what the general, like, personality of a Palmot is, and I was like, oh, it's Wembley. <laughs> Look at mm. how it runs. Is that is... <laughs> Look at this little yeah. run! It's a, it's a little Wemblin fool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I love Palmot so much. He's, he's I'm only two right seasons right. into Fraggle Rock, and I, I just, again, Every time there's a Wiggly episode, I, I just have to struggle through it. It's so, it's so awful. I love Wiggly. He's so annoying. I love how neurotic he is. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, it's a little Jigglypuff and a little Igglybuff. Oh, if you get another like mouse one, you should get uh, Tutter from Bear in oh the Big Blue House. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm so tempted right now to rename Wembley to Tutter. <laughs> oh, if, do you have if like, I, a Meryl? Or like an Azurel? I could do that. Um, I don't think I have any water type. Oh no, I do have Greninja. So, um, but yeah, if, if I were to if I were to do like a, a, an Azumarill, that would be that would be a perfect name for it. Is Tutter. If I had a ranking system for how well, for episodes of Fraggle Rock, if, if the like leading characters in episodes of Fraggle Rock based off the the main five characters, mm -hmm. obviously. Top of the list is any episode with Moki is gonna be a good episode. I fucking love Moki. She's my second, by far my favorite of the of the main. Second, titles. obviously Gobo because he's just a basic main protagonist boy. His episodes never really make me upset. Have you ever heard, Third, have you ever Boobers because they're relatable half the time. I love Boober. Third, a fourth because Red because she's always getting dunked on and she's a horrible person and it's funny. <laughs> um. And, uh, and last, Wembley, because again, any situation that he's in, he's, he's just the worst. He's just, I don't know how they make him the worst every time, but every time he shows up, it's just, it sucks. I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, have you ever heard what Gobo sounds like in Japanese? No, I have not. No. He sounds like a pretty bog standard shonen protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. I'm um, not surprised. It's it's really funny. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I because I I got curious one day, so I was like, oh, I wonder what the Fraggle Rock theme sound like, sounded like in in Japanese. It's re it's really good. It's basically the same song, just you know, pretty much directly translated. Not like directly translated, mm -hmm. like it's in unintelligible, but like um, translated. The manga was better. Fairly well into Japanese. Um, but yeah, there's uh. There's a bit in you know in the OP where uh, Gobo's like running through the Fraggle caves before he gets out to the Gorg village. With the yeah. Little bass line. Yeah. Um. So they added a voice line for Gobo in the Japanese OP. Okay. He, he just goes "sore," just out of nowhere. <laughs> it's really funny. Like um, oh okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, Gobo. <laughs> Um, Thanks, Gobo. Very cool. Just trying to think about. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember what's like. Is he like 
getting thrown? No, he's just. Is he like explain? He's just running Slow through ball. the thrown it running through the fraggle caves. He's like sort it. Um, and then he and then he gets caught by Junior, uh, and then Junior's like, "Ato fraggle de," you know, there's something along those lines. Um, anyway. I have to know what red sounds like in Japanese. I know exactly how she's gonna sound too. The <laughs> place is yoded. It's a Mareep. Do androids dream of electric Mareeps? Do they? I don't know. I mean, you know, I should you know what I should I should, I should ask my Iron Bailey my question. I I when I caught a Mareep, I named it Deckard after the main character from Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep because I thought it was funny. Um, you should have called it Sean. I thought about that. I thought about that. But, um, no. <laughs> this seems like the obvious, like, name to go with a, with a sheep. Dude, I freaking loved Sean the Sheep back in the day when it was on, like, I don't know if it was on, like, late at night on Disney Channel, but every once in a while, we just, we just play the short time. They were just very enjoyable. Yeah. Do Iron Valiant's dream of Marie? Good lord. <laughs> um, no, but I definitely dream of Iron Valiant. I okay, but I will say I fucking love Sean the Sheep. I love anything that Ardman did. Um, even Stage Fright, which scarred me as a child. It's a great ball. All right. Uh, hey, Pama, go fight this guy. I saw a blue thing. What what blue thing did you see? Hold on, let me let me kill this mastiff real quick. Uh oh. Is is Discord working? Yeah, we're good. Oh okay, okay, okay. I, I got nobody was saying anything for a second. I got scared. Oh, I was like, oh no. Sorry. I no, we were thinking... focused on you killing the mastiff. <laughs> I was and I was doing the. Uh... Um, the custom sound when you enter a server, oh. the voice channel. I have, I down set it to Obi Wan Kenobi going, "Hello there." Hello there. Uh, you can do that with Nitro. Ah, uh, fuck Nitro. I, I should, I should set mine up to uh, the XP, uh, Windows XP boot up the. I, I think, I think, I think mine would just be, I'm Cal. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Cal. No, I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to start my fucking. All right, my phone just went off because it was like. Uh, what do you mean you saw a blue thing? Hey, hey it's me, Cal. Do you fart with that ass? Water. <laughs> saw a blue thing. It's water. Uh, no, Blaze was saying. Blaze was saying they saw a blue thing. Oh, okay. And it might have been a shiny Psyduck. Oh. Which, if it is, I want to get it. Because, um, or a shiny Marie. I just posted to Tumblr about this. Uh, my mom's favorite Pokemon is Psyduck. Um, Aww. I just posted to Tumblr. Everyone says holy fucking shit, but no one wants to fuck my holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Uh, when I, you know, when I was really little, I was I was super into the Pokemon anime because I didn't have any of the games or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, like, the the anime was how I knew about Pokemon. Uh, yeah. It's a little Pachirisu! Hold on, I'm gonna go catch and this And there's thing. a Meryl, too. Um, uh, my mom got into Pokemon just enough to understand what I was talking about. You know, when mm -hmm. I whenever I would gush about it. Um, mm -hmm. To the point where, yeah, her she has a favorite Pokemon, and it's Psyduck. And she always said uh, it was Psyduck because she related to uh, it getting headaches all the time. <laughs> that's literally, saw... dude, that's literally me. Um, well, it was a while and back. I was, <laughs> go on. I was uh, a while back, uh, back when I was in high school, my little brother and I were watching reruns of Indigo League. Uh -huh. And I did not even realize that my mother was in the room, let alone watching the TV with us. Um, but there was there was a scene where uh, Misty got upset with Psyduck and she smacked it over the head Gibbs style, and uh, uh -huh. all I heard from behind me was she hit Psyduck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Respect. <laughs> I, if it was a Pokemon, I would be the only Psyduck that has dry skin as its ability. <laughs> Alright. You caught a Pachirisu, so it's going to be added to my party because all I have right now is, is Palmont. Yeah. I think I remember... Because, um... <laughs> My, my mother somewhat knows of Pokemon because all three of us siblings really liked it. Mm -hmm. And she never really watched it, but she, sometimes she would pass by the TV. But I think I, rem I think I remember her saying that her favorite was Chansey because it was like the nurse Pokemon and she thought it was cool that because she was a nurse. Yeah. So she's like, oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> I wish I had that thing working with me. I'm like, okay. I wish I had a junk. I wish I had a giant fucking egg on my fucking body somewhere that I can eat at all times. Listen, nothing against Chansey, Mr. Blobby looking motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna, I thought, I thought you, I thought you were reading to you saying you want to fuck Chansey. Like, no, what? Well, well, no. Listen, if I was gonna fuck up, I'm not gonna finish this thought. <laughs> um, I don't hey, wanna be on a watch nah, list. Nah, don't be a coward. Um, nah, nah, don't be a coward. I think the don't obvious citizens. answer is Gardevoir. <laughs> um, Fair. Oh. <laughs> all right. No, if if you were a Pokemon, what Pokemon would you be? I'm like on the well, I would be. I would. I would be. I would be a. Uh, what's what's it called? Uh, Toxic Rope. Toxic Rope. Ooh. That's a good one. Because they have dry skin as their ability. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough. And I hate the heat. Yeah, oh. God, me too. And is there nothing funnier than a frog that hates that hates getting that hate that a frog with with like that hates not being moist. Uh why did I finish that sentence with that word? <laughs> I think I would be a Claude Sire. I think that'd I can be really think a better funny. word. <laughs> Actually, who am I kidding? I'm a turnip. I'd be an Oddish. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Yeah. Um. Oh. I've been told I'm a little no. Rowlet. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Cause, yeah, because, I don't know. My, my roommate says I'm, like, very anxious all the time, and based on what clips he's seen from the show of Rowlet, it just looks like it's stressed out 24-7. Yeah. With the hijinks. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, fair. But my favorite Pokemon uh, is Shinx. Oh, that's a good I one. I just like that entire line. Fair. I love Shinx, um, and I love Luxio, and I love Luxray. I know. When I, when I heard that Shinx was going to be just in the wild in this game, I was like... Here's sixty dollars. Thank uh, you very much. Oh my god, give me I, my boy. Uh, Shinx has been my, Shinx my has favorite been in the wild for the past like three years, I think. My favorite Pokemon got an evolution this gen. Oh, was it um? Here, I'll show you. Oh, uh, Bisharp. Look at this oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus okay. Christ! But I didn't realize like, that was how he. Speak, speak why, why is he moving like he's in a fucking like um? <laughs> Thing. <laughs> yeah. He's riding Hello? on his cloud. Can I help you? Yes, I, I'm good. Oh, yeah, it's here. <laughs> um, huh? I'm with Mel and Cowering. Hello, fellow. Hi! Hello. My roommate. You're live on stream. <laughs> they say hello. I came to the chicken tent. Okay. <laughs> That's immortalized now. He doesn't know that. <laughs> um,. No, why does, why does the evolution of Bisharp look like he's just sitting in like um, uh, he should be sitting in like one of those grocery store like carts. Oh, the ECBs, seat. yeah. Um. Or what is, what's the nickname um, for those? I can't remember. Uh, well, that's what they—that's what um, we call them at uh, Disney. I know exactly what you're talking about. We call them ECBs because they're electric vehicles. Um. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, I. <laughs> The, the the motorized carts. It, lo it looks like it needs to be in one of them. So that's King Gambit. <clears throat> that's Bishop's I... uh, final evolution now. It to only took them four generations to do yeah. something with Bishop. I don't know how to feel about that one. Oh no, Bishop is still definitely like my favorite in some... that line. But um. Yeah. 
Hey, are we schoolmates? I do have some stressful news, though. I was looking... I was looking <clears throat> on my source for people who leak stuff. Yeah, maybe I want to. And I found out that Lee Vanny's going to be in the game again. Finally! <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I have not seen any of the leaks, so I, 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 I don't know what's going on with those. But I, I did hear there were some leaks. My fair, it took them two years, like three years, to put my favorite Pokemon back in the game. It's a fighting type. Uh, I'm so happy. God, what comes after Marie? I've already forgotten. Oh, I'm a fake fan. Ampharos. Uh, no, 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 no. Between Marie and Ampharos. <laughs> Flaffy? Yes, Flaffy. Uh, hold on. I want, I want, I want to see, I want to see their stats. Hold on. I need, I need to find a psychic type. Hold on. Oh yeah, this was the Mew I got. Terra type dragon. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. Well, I, I was, I was there when you, when you got it. Yeah, that's um. <laughs> Lord. Could you imagine dragon type Mew? Genuinely, it's not a bad uh, character, but I don't think. Not horrible. Oh, here we go. I'll use this one. Don't worry about its nickname. <laughs> no, I think we should worry. Mel, are, Mel, Mel, are you okay? No. Like, genuinely? No. Like, Dean? <laughs> I'm gonna go refill some of my tea. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'm a, I'm a theme park employee. You think I'm okay? <laughs> Uh, theme park employee in Florida. In, in, in a trans theme park employee in the state of Florida. <laughs> yeah. God. I am triple not okay. My, <laughs> my, my, um, two of my friends just moved to Florida because one of them got so into uh, grad school. Yeah, one of them got into grad school there, and it's like, but why Florida? And he's like, I, it's, it's what, it, it's, I gotta do it. And it's like, why? No, not cotton spore. It's gonna lower my speed harshly. <laughs> so, quick question. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Can yeah. we talk about the hurricane? The hurricane? Hur oh, yeah, in California. So, yeah, so Mel, if you didn't know, I, I, I uh, there is. Out of touch with current events, yes. So, recently. There was a hurricane that was going heading toward uh, California. Typical stuff. They have hurricanes on, on, on occasion. But no, no, they also had a 0.5 earthquake there at the same time. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sucks no, a little bit over I guess. Had, they haven't had a hurricane on in California since, I think, 1939. Man, that tells you how fucked up the climate is. That it's finally starting to rain in California. Oh, yeah. We got earthquakes, hurricanes, massive wildfires all across the planet. I, I What's did, next, really? I did hear about the wildfire in next thing, uh, next Hawaii. Thing. Yeah. What's next? Race, uh, lasers, race cars, airplanes? God. I have that song stuck in my head now. God damn it. <laughs> did it change it? All right. What's next? Surfing continents? Painting? Surfing tidal waves, a pain a continent, or <laughs> but our sister insane. Christ! I'm so mad they never actually found big freaking side brain during the run of that show. Yeah, it's a, a missed opportunity on uh, on Disney's part. Like they 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 did half the stuff they were they did in the in the intro, but I'm pretty sure they didn't do at least two of them. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, and one of those was driving her sister and said, "No, I'm kidding. Uh, that was every episode." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I'm pretty sure race serving a title away was not actually in the. I don't think it was. This guy's you asking. This, this guy's asking. Please tell me the way. Well, you know what? Oh my gosh! You're gonna you're gonna show critical the way. 
This is the way. <laughs> God. Holy, have you seen that particular that particular trainer class? Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me let me go back real quick. It looks he like looks it like looks critical. like critical. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Oh, I'm critical. They put voice critical. <laughs> This guy's yeah. this guy's gonna upload a, a video to YouTube. It's gonna be called like "Everything Wrong with the Paldean Government," and it's gonna have the exact same thumbnail as the last seven videos on his channel. Yeah. I love the way Wembley like ran up to fake Moist Critical. <laughs> He's like, "Oh my God, it's Moist Critical from the from the hit YouTube channel such... Penguin Zero. <laughs> Bro, I'm such a fan." <laughs> Oh. I love that the only way to get up to that particular item is to... Pounce. Thank you, Miraidon. <laughs> it sucks Funnily that you, enough, you can't... Actually, the name of a, a move now, Pokemon. Oh, man. A hardstone! I think my dad passed one of those a while back. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was like trying to quickly come up with oh, like a sorry. like a like a Hearthstone joke, like the game Hearthstone. No, you were over here like <laughs> you're over here like hmm, kidney. That's very funny, actually. <laughs> actually, very funny. No, it was good. It was good. I'm mad that I didn't come up with. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. What's up? Just just so you know, I am uh, live on Twitch.tv. Oh, thank you. I co-created the green light in the bathroom for my room. Okay. Um, so that light bulb is now green. Use it in the garage. Uh, we don't have a ladder, but I just climbed on top of my house with the ladder. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right. If you, you want to hear now? more uh, roommate uh, <laughs> conversations, subscribe to uh, twitch.tv slash elemental turnip. Oh, no, don't subscribe to me. Follow me, definitely. Yeah. It's... Uh, it, it's the, it's the, uh, do you have one? Did you do it? Do, do you? <laughs> do you have one? Haha. <laughs> do, what? Do, do you? Do you have one? Do you? What do you mean? Pulls gone. gone. Do you have it? What do you mean, young child? Do you child? have one? Uh, wearing suspenders and a Taros t-shirt and a... It's a little German work. boy. It's a little German a little, boy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. All right. Hello, oh little... my God. No, little German boy. Don't go into the weed cave. <laughs> No, oh, he's tripping coy. Don't go in he's the top grass. Ah, this is dying blunt smoking. Anyway. <laughs> oh no, little uh, German boy. <laughs> Don't go in the tall grass. Uh, Jimmy says, watching Oppenheimer with a friend right now. Sorry for not being able to stay and also hear you. Enjoy the worst recent Pokemon game. Yeah, have fun watching Oppenheimer. You should also watch Barbie too if you want a real existential crisis. <laughs> Barbenheimer. Um, we still been... haven't seen either of those movies. Neither have I. I really need to. Me <laughs> either. <laughs> We've been having a poll of the day recently. It's cultural appropriation, mm -hmm. and I don't. Oh, I'm sorry, Snivy. <laughs> I, you know, I was just thinking too, like, like my joke about like the blunt smoking and everything. Like, I, I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be really I mean... funny if Snivy showed up right now? <laughs> I mean, Snivy, you're more than welcome to join and 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 plead your case on all grass types ever. I don't know. Snivy's German. That's the joke. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Can we say that all grass types from Germany are dumb? Whoa. Hey now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this little child. <laughs> all right. You've got a tarot orb, right? That's so cool. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. When I beat your ass. You're challenged by youngster a day. Snivy says, "Wish, hey now." So, 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 Snivy, I gotta ask, how does it feel to drink cola and play Fortnite? <laughs> what does that mean, Cal? <laughs> you did not know the little German boy meme, but uh, oh no, I don't actually. <laughs> no. So yeah, do you, so no. that that that's the sound that they use for autism creature. Oh, is is yeah. a couple of little German boys saying, "Man, my mom got me cola so I can buy a play Fortnite." 
Isn't that cool? I got cola, and I'm gonna play Fortnite. Yippee! Obviously, obviously in German. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Cola and Fortnite. Yippee! So sparkly, I got distracted. All right, cool. Give me three hundred and fifty-two dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's like three dollars. Not that much. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, it's a bug type oinkalone. Hold on. Uh, what's a what's a funny what's a funny Pokemon? Piggy? <gasps> Do we have our Miss Piggy? I think this is. Miss well, Piggy. we got to find out if that's if that's a male or a female Miss uh, Oinkalone. It, it matters. On. I'm gonna fight or the I, I, I don't know the gender. All right. Chandler. It's it's male. Snivy it's, says it's more cultural one. appropriation, I see. <laughs> With the kappa emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the only kappa that I appreciate is Dendi, alright? <laughs> the only kappa that I appreciate are the ones that eat ass and drive fast. Oh. I love how everyone else here has, like, an animal, and I have a fucking spiritual knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Several Edge, use Bitter Blade. <laughs> it's super effective, and I got healed, except I didn't Bitter, heal. bitter, bitter Blade? I barely, so is T for T? I, I barely know her blade. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lava plume. Not seed bomb. That's gonna do a whole seven damage. <laughs> yeah, it actually did. Alright, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna get worked up. It's its attack is gonna raise. It's gonna be too fucking late though. It's, work, it's working up. It's working up. Yeah. <clears throat> God, I wish this Pokemon was good. Are you it is very not. No. Oh. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> <laughs> There's no kill like overkill! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, man, come on, Blaze. I had fun in Sword and Shield. I'm the Sword and Shield apologist, all right? I am too, to be quite honest. I I, I love a lot of the characters in Sword and Shield. It, that's, that's like, the big appeal for me. I think Hop is one of the better rivals recently. I love Nimona. I think Nimona is the best rival recently, but, like, Hop is also really good. <laughs> also, I love Sonya and Leon. I think those two are fucking adorable. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, sure, we're gonna we're gonna Smart. catch this oink alone. Yeah. Don't let me oink Call this alone. battle A Cat because we're, we're catching a pig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you for a second Mel, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's that's like my go-to that's like my go-to uh sound effect for like jokes I don't have a response to. <laughs> is, um, the, is the Kevin Flint Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um my, my uh in regards to, to the hardstone joke, I know it's going back a little bit. I, I'm very slow on the uptake in terms of jokes because I just got off a migraine that involved me getting sick in the bath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, had a very bad day yesterday. Yeah, I did too. All right, Blaze is saying uh, Rose brings down the IQ of all characters around him whenever he's on screen. Okay, so here's the thing: is I like to think of Rose as Boris Johnson. <laughs> Didn't Boris Johnson cap himself in the head? Uh, no, Boris Johnson was. Uh, Boris Johnson is the ex prime minister who. Um, has uh, been a, a very controversial figure to say the least. Um, yeah, he was the he was the guy who was like, "We're going to lock down all of Britain during COVID, except for me. I'm going to continue throwing fucking rages." 
uh, here at 10 Downing Street. He's like, he he literally looks like if Trump was British. Yeah, that's basically. And I can't get that out of my head. That's pretty much what hair. he looks like, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. His hair looks like fucking straw. Yeah. He he <laughs> looks like he looks like someone's uh, really bad attempt at uh, making a wax figure of the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a very good mental image of this man now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we I wonder go. what the new cur or not new? What, what the current prime minister? Uh, is it's not like. Theresa May. I can tell you that much. Um, it's not Liz Truss. Either. That's who I'm thinking of. That's who I'm thinking of. Liz Truss. Theresa May. Why is that name stuck in my head? I don't fucking know. Um, Liz Truss, yeah, she was the one that, uh... <laughs> Lasted, like, two months? Yeah, her- th there- there was a, a live stream of a head of cabbage. Um, uh, yes. the- the head of cabbage lasted longer than, uh, Liz Truss's ministership. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I still like the- cause I think when she fr was first appointed, she was like, I am a fighter, and I am not a quitter! And then someone edited it where it was just a jump cut to, I am resigning. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> pretty much <laughs> what her whole... <laughs> that's pretty much what her whole premiership was! <laughs> yeah, um, Theresa May was after Boris Johnson. Um, She lasted three years. There... I think. Uh, there, there was a joke someone in the House of Commons did um, about... Uh... Liz Truss's premiership, and it was something along the lines of, um, there is already a book being written about her premiership. Apparently, it'll be out by Christmas. Is that the release date or the title? <laughs> <laughs> um, <it's laughs> oh, God, she was, she was in office for less than two months. Yeah. September 6th <laughs> to October 25th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, a month and a half. And now the new guy is this guy named Rishi Sunak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, um... I, and I might be wrong on this. I'm pretty sure he was mayor of London for a little while. Um, I know, I know Boris was mayor of London before he was prime minister. So that's yeah, not a, he... a, not a, a huge leap. But I, I think I recognize that name. I might be wrong on the whole mayor of London thing. Yeah. I don't know. I concern myself with uh, foreign politics because I'm tired of hearing about American politics. Um, Honestly, foreign fair. ones are just as exhausting as. <laughs> no, it was really funny when I when I actually lived out there. This was I, I was living out there during the Trump presidency, um, and mm -hmm. I swear to God, I heard more about American politics living in Britain than I did about British politics. <laughs> Because they're viewing it as a as a sitcom. Yeah. To be quite well, honest. and and everyone was asking me like what it my is though. Everyone was asking me what my thoughts were on it. I was like, listen, I I I, I moved away from that for a reason. <laughs> um. Yeah. And here you are back in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> you know this <laughs> current guy, Rishi Sunak. <clears throat> he seems like okay-ish. I'm I, looking at his I was gonna Wikipedia say as article. as okayish as any politician can seem. As any, yeah. Um. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, at least he said like, oh, he wants the UK to be the safest and greatest country in the world to be LGBT and stuff. Oh, he said, oh that's cool. Prejudice I... against trans people is wrong. It's can like, I... okay, you know what? Bars in hell. <laughs> can I? Uh... I mean, yeah, bar is in hell. But like, can I? Can I move there again? I. Uh... I'll work at like yeah. Alton Towers or something. All I know is theme parks at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I I have genuinely thought about learning French uh, and seeing about at some point in my life moving to um, not France? not Paris, but close enough to Paris that I can work. Yeah, you don't want to live I, in a place that's like P constantly. Yeah. Um. But 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 close enough to Paris that I can work at Disneyland <laughs> Paris because like I I've, I've genuinely thought about doing that. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, no, my my best friend, she's like, dude, do you just want to like move to Ireland one day? And I'm like, God, I would love yes. to move to Ireland. It, if if I ever ever get the opportunity to retire, I would love to move to Ireland. I I I feel like it would come full circle for my family at least. Yeah, same with mine. <laughs> oh no, it started to rain. 
Um, what the fuck am I doing? I don't even know. I'm just kind of digging around at this point. What was the? What, what the was hell the... is this grass texture? It's, it's great. <laughs> it's, it just looks like jelly. I, I, I love, yeah, it's it's not like the, the grass texture in Breath of the Wild where it's, like, kind of dynamic or anything. Although, to be fair, I don't want to shit on this yeah. game. I, I don't want to shit on this game too, too much. Mostly because, mm -hmm. like, this did not have the same size team as Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom or, any, or like, Xenoblade or anything like that. Um, game Freak is a mm -hmm. tiny <clears throat> studio. But do you want to know what's crazy? Hmm. The, game, the game prior to this... Mm -hmm had dynamic grass animation <laughs> yeah but i what i think happened here was it's a tiny studio working on ridiculous crunch um to to make a an entry in one of the highest grossing media franchises of all time um and they're probably contractually obligated to do it if i had to take a guess uh, uh -huh. which is why they don't just you know get other studios to do it and mm -hmm. I, i'm fairly certain a lot of the money doesn't even go directly to game freak because it's a three-way split between game freak creatures and uh nintendo yeah oh god they only have a, i looked on their wikipedia article 169 employees yeah that's that's fucking tiny for a supposedly triple a developer um I, wow <clears throat> i'm surprised it's done sparse my boy <clears throat> hello dunsparce and it's evolved form which is so stupid it's the dunsparce yeah <laughs> it's, it's so stupid it's just it's just a bulkier dunsparce and it's just man it's it, not good the glare didn't affect wembley for once <laughs> yeah all right <clears throat> not screech from saved by the bell I'm sorry, Mel. That joke didn't land. I didn't realize I was fighting Dust and Diamond. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mel. He's gonna have to try again. <laughs> didn't land again. I'm sorry. Have you guys ever heard of Dust and Diamond? I didn't watch Save by the Bell. Have you ever heard of no, Dust and Diamond teaches you how to play chess? No, I don't. No, I have not. I'm so. sorry. It is a... It is an instructional video. Uh, hosted by Dustin Diamond, the guy that played Screech on Saved by the Bell, um, where he teaches you how to play chess, and it's really bad from what I've heard. The problem with it is it's lost media. <laughs> um, only, yeah. only, a, only a few people have seen it, and everyone who's seen it has been like, yeah, this shit sucks. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> um... That, that was, like, a thing. Apparently, Dustin Diamond was, like, notorious for, uh, just doing really god-awful shit. But not, like, not, like, in a way that, like, someone like Jared Leto does bad shit. Just in, like, an annoying way. You know? <clears throat> like he's oh, just... you're saying he does, like, a lot of side quests. Yeah. Also, I like how, I like how my roommate came in and he's like, are you okay? I hear, like, a lot of, like, yelling and stuff. It's just because I've been laughing. Meanwhile... I can hear him with my door closed and just his cackle laugh of yeah. <laughs> like really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize your roommate was the Riddler. God, don't, don't, don't ever say that in my roommate's presence because his ego, his ego will just grow. Your roommate's really gonna be like, "Riddle be this, what Batman." Is calling. <laughs> Oh. God. <laughs> oh Christ. Oh, I should probably have I keep forgetting that I should probably have him out so that he gets the steps. Yeah, I don't, I, I was I wasn't gonna say it. I think I figured you were doing yeah. your own thing. I wasn't so I, I didn't think about it. I think it's Gibble and Sableye and Makuhi. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> I Sableye. It looks like I've always thought yeah, Sableye was like um, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. Not astonish. <gasps> but it failed. Bum, bum, bum. All right. All right. I'm gonna do one.
one more Thundershock, and then I'm going to try to catch this thing. Here we go. Disable! I can't use Thundershock. That's fine. I didn't want to anyway. <laughs> Swag. Get in my balls. No! <laughs> Get in me balls. I'm going to be stubborn about this. Come on. Do it. Stay in the Pokeball, please. Oh. Oh. Ah. Dude. <clears throat> Get in the ball. Apparently, as Piccolo would say, the balls are inert. God. <laughs> Oh, the move is no longer disabled. That's great. I'm gonna what throw a Pokeball. <laughs> no, I'm I'm gonna be stubborn about the Pokeball. Look, it paid off. Okay. <laughs> that's why I didn't even argue because I knew. That, that's why I didn't even, wasn't even gonna argue because I knew that's what you, you would say, Bill. Yep. <laughs> and I wasn't even gonna convince you to do so. What? What Tencent name are we going to give? Sableye. Oh, I wasn't even planning on doing that, but we can we can definitely do that. <clears throat> what's a what's yeah. a gym related Henson character? Uh, Wait. I don't know why? I just feel like it needs a dark crystal name. I got you. I got you. Then maybe maybe this is the dark crystal. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thra has been added to your party. I just have the entire land of Thra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. See, I was I was originally gonna be like, oh, it would be funny if I named it after the baseball diamond from uh, Great Muppet Caper, but. Um. Oh yeah, I finally um, I finally saw the Muppet movie in theaters a couple oh, weeks ago. I'm so jealous. It was, yeah, no, um, they were doing, like, a classic movie, like, summer thing, and it was very, very good, and my roommate, who had never seen, had never seen the movie, <laughs> came with me. Um. Um. But it was great. I love the Muppet movie so much. It's, it's just, it's so adorable. Um. It's, it had been a long time since I had seen it, and, like, <laughs> when, um. I guess spoilers for the Muppet Spoil movie? Spoilers um, for a 40-year-old movie, yeah. <laughs> when when Orson yeah. Welles came up, my roommate was like, is that Orson Welles? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? But no, that was, he that was, was very <laughs> shocked at all of the cameos. I was going to say, that was the power of the Muppets in the 70s and 80s, was they could get basically yeah. anyone they wanted. Um, yeah. Yeah. Orson Welles delivering those two lines like his career depended on it. Listen, it's so funny to me that the the man who made Citizen Kane, arguably one of the greatest films ever made, um, was also in the Muppet movie, and his last uh, film role was in, uh, in Transformers. the Transformers, uh, the animated movie, where he played Omicron, yes. a talking planet. <laughs> yeah. Um. I oh my God. Colleen, can I show you something really cursed? Yeah. Now, you've seen stairs. Stairs? But, now you've seen stairs, but how have I, have I ever introduced, have you ever heard of hairs? I, I, I hate that I can picture exactly what this is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so uh, gross it's so I, gross I, like this, I, I want this for the first time in my life I want this to be AI generated <laughs> <laughs> for, for context uh, stream chat I've, I found it I've been, I've been scrolling Tumblr for the past like oh, five minutes and I'm, I'm, I'm having a good day and then I see a stairs, a, 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 a set of stairs, 
upholstered with with a uh, with artificial wigs of hair. Oh, gross! And it's exactly as awful as you think it is. That sounds awful. It's how, not good. How do you know it's not artificial? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just saying. Don't put that evil on me. I'm gonna think it's fake. Don't put that evil on me. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I. You know what? It's finally something worse than the Jairs. Which is which is the gene stairs. Uh, what? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ Almighty. On Pommy. <laughs> Oh, this is a little flabby. Oh, it's a little flabby. I'm gonna fucking kill it. No, kill not that safeguard. Baby. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna do it. All right. All right. Flabby has been murdered. And I love that the uh, the current lo-fi track that's playing is a is a mix of uh, Yoshi's story. The the. <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to startle you. I just wanted to take a look. I thought it would be funny. Wait, Mel, what starter did you choose? Uh, Sprecatito. Oh, yeah, I saw... The the funny weed cat. I saw, yeah. the, I, I saw the, the drug, the drug, uh, <laughs> paraphernalia in your, in your Pokemon box. Yeah. Uh, would you like to know what I named my Sprigatito? No, I already know. I saw it. <laughs> Marijuana. God. It's, it's, it's a you really... Can't name... <laughs> it's a really funny <laughs> name. <laughs> I, I, you, as people have tried when the game came out to just nickname it uh, Sprigatito Weed and, and poke. I guess Game Freak caught on. And they were like, "No, you can't, you can't make a grass type with red eyes and not make us think about weed." Yeah, <laughs> they, they really did that to the, to themselves, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. All right. We are not liable for that. It's their fault, not ours. Oh. Well, okay, so I the reason I went with Sprigatito is because off the bat it was gonna be my favorite of the three starters, regardless yeah. of what they evolved into. I I, I Listen, I I, I, I knew what it was gonna evolve into so that I immediately knew. Well yeah. So <laughs> I well I'm I'm a cat person and you know, I just thought it was adorable. Um and then the uh final evolutions got leaked and I was like, oh fuck yeah, I'm going to Sprigatito. What the fuck is this fire crocodile thing? <laughs> He's my son That's fair. and I love him. This fucking Skeledurge <laughs> freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I love him. I named mine, um Oh god, what did I name mine? Um Oh, I think I named mine Sir Racha. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call I if call if this gonna be um this was gonna be female I would have named her Cayenne. Yeah. I called mine Rehanta. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. And if if I got if I chose Quaxley, I probably would have named him Donald. Well, of course. I mean motherfucker looks like Kingdom Hearts Donald. Like yeah. or Dewey. <laughs> oh yeah. As as portrayed by uh, Ben Schwartz, by, by, by Ben Schwartz, the lovely, wonderful Ben Schwartz, because um, he cannot stop voicing blue characters. Blue, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's genuinely how I remember that Dewey is the blue one. Is I'm like, oh, it's Ben Schwartz. <laughs> um, I've I've never been able to as much as I uh, am a big fan of Disney and and like those characters and everything I've never been able to tell those three apart until the 2017 DuckTales reboot. That's fair. 
Now, to, to, to be fair, the original character designs are identical. They are quite, There's yeah. no distinction between the three. Yeah. yeah. And I think Daisy has these triplets as well, and their names are April, May, and June. Oh. Do, yeah. Does she? Huh. Yeah, I think so. I mean, who's the father? Is it Donald? No! That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, yeah. Huh. Unless it's uh, like a... Unless it's like a... Uh, she already had them, and then she started dating Donald. Then it's less fucked up. Um. Oh, it's Daisy's uh, nieces. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant they were her kids. <laughs> No, I thought they were kids, but I just looked on their wiki. Um, unnamed. I mean, Michael Wright has a son. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. I mean, I knew. I mean, everyone knows Goofy as a kid. You know, it's Max. Um, yeah. which man, I want to watch the Goofy movie now. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've seen a Goofy movie. It's a really good movie. Um, mm -hmm. Although the 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 intro is very funny because it's just like it is that like Doofenshmirtz me of a movie, a Goofy movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm super looking forward to watch just a normal movie. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> um, man. A goofy movie was really good. I don't know how I could get even better than this. An extremely goofy movie. Shit. I, that, that was a, that was a, a letterboxed review I saw once was uh, for a goofy yeah. movie. It was like, there is no possible way a goofier movie exists than this. And then the next one is an extremely goofy movie. And the whole review is just, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, my roommate found out that I had never seen um, Surf's Up. Oh so he God. literally was like, guess what we're watching now? Oh, you haven't lived! I, well, I watched it, I, of course. I don't think uh, I've seen Surf's Up since I was like seven. <laughs> um, I it was okay. I do remember enjoying it as a kid, though. It's a pretty good movie, actually. It's okay. <laughs> but um, Don't watch any of the sequels. Don't do it. There's only one, right? There is only one. As far as there's I'm aware. two, I think. There's two. I think there is two. Holy shit. I think there is at least. Uh, oh. I think there's only one. Surf's up two. Wave is there? Mania. Okay. Oh yeah, hold on. <clears throat> How do I do shit? I don't. I don't. Hold on. What are you trying to figure out? Oh, hold on. Uh, give to Pokemon. Alright, I'm just being dumb. I wanted to give Pommy the amulet coin so I could get even more money from this child! Oh, well, I didn't mean to fight the mass chip. That's fine. I, I guess we're doing this first. Um... Oh, no, not Snarl. Oh no, not my special do not, attack! Do not the snarl. Do not the snarl. Do not the snarl. Oh, that did- oh, it was a crit. That's why. Avoid it! Yeah! <laughs> For once in your life, Wembley, do so fucking something! I, me, making this review. Alright, hold on. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna Do something this. that's not horrible for once. I was, I'm looking at letterbox reviews just because, and someone, <laughs> someone, one of the reviews is need to smoke a blunt with Janice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this kid's saying, uh, this fairy is my ace in the hole. It's covered up my weakness. What does that mean, kid? Not youngster Julian. Yes, another weird. German boy. He's a little tadpole. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Just a little guy. 
If we ever find one of those in the wild, we should name him Robin. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Wembley. God damn it, Wembley. Hold on, hold on. No, it's, another, it's another review for the Muppet. Full restore. Just, this is the best Orson Welles. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Someone reviewed the Muppet movie with this is the best Orson Welles movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I found out recently apparently there was a going to be a colorized version of Citizen Kane um, but Orson Welles himself uh, was like no don't do that and he is quoted as saying don't let that man deface my film with his crayons wow what a that fucking legend that is, that is the same energy as the um the founder of Costco when he learned that uh, it's like, oh, we should raise the price of the hot dog up, and then he got like oh, really yeah. mad. <laughs> oh god, what was it? He said, I know it had an expletive in it, which was really funny. <laughs> Hold on. Hot dog. Ooh, well, wants to learn a new move. Price. Uh. Yeah, we'll get rid of Growl. That'll be fine. Uh. I've if got... you raise the price of the effing hot dog, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There it is. <laughs> All right. Wembley forgot Growl, and it learned Spark instead. Nice. Mr. Julian is about to send out Eevee. I'll keep Wembley out. Oh, look at that little Eevee. Die. <laughs> Another review for the Muppet movie. I saw this stone on a date with someone I didn't like, but it, it's a nice movie. <laughs> I love well. unhinged letterbox reviews. They're <laughs> fucking great. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I did a couple of those, not on Letterbox, but on uh, GG, which is basically Letterbox, but for video games. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> All right, quick attack. That'll take place. care of it. Yep, yep. Uh, my favorite. Surviving on one HP, baby. My favorite review that I've ever written for GG was for TF2, and it was just something along the lines of like, "This game is like if sex was fun." <laughs> <laughs> I still like. There's another one, a letterbox review that I actually um parted, and it said, "This is the patriotic part. Should we stand up? No. Kermit kneels during the national anthem. Confirmed." <laughs> He would, too. <laughs> he would. Uh, Kermit would kneel during the national anthem. Gonzo would shoot himself out of a cannon. <laughs> no, he would shoot Robin out of a cannon again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit! Uh, Robin got stuck in a tuba. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna get him out. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! The little wee from Robin kills me. It's a really good bit. <laughs> also, like with the um, the Muppet movie, I was not expecting the jump scare of the Confederate flag. Oh during yeah, that fair. I was like, huh? Yeah, it was. Well, it was 1979. Yeah, are they in the south? I can't remember where that scene was set. I think they were in the South. Because, like, that's the... that Because Kermit's from Mississippi. That's what... Yes. And then... Because um, so... Jim was from Mississippi. God, what am I? Beaker? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... <clears throat> oh, my tarot orb is charged. Um... Uh... But yeah, and then Doc Hopper is, you know, very much from the south still think he looks like the kfc colonel he, he looks like he looks like yeah he does kind of look like knockoff colonel sanders <laughs> if, if colonel sanders is clean shaven yeah yeah i do declare was, um i was in a play once um morgan was a part of it too um mm -hmm. It was called Inherit the Wind, which is set in uh, Tennessee in the 1920s. 
and it's mm -hmm. uh, based on the real life uh, Scopes Monkey trial, which is uh -huh. a, a teacher got arrested for teaching the theory of evolution, because this is like the the oh, yeah. the smack dab in the middle of the Bible Belt in the twenties. Uh, yep. And so teaching evolution was like a a huge controversy, but he. But he didn't teach it like, um, you have to believe evolution, you cannot believe what the Bible says. No, he was just like, uh, this is what some people believe, you know? It's it's the theory yeah. of evolution, this is what Darwin came up with. But he got arrested for that shit. Mm -hmm. So this play is based on that. All of the names have been changed, but it's like, everyone has an analog to an actual person from the, from the real-life trial. Um, mm -hmm. Morgan played a character, uh, <laughs> that was like a fire and brimstone kind of preacher. Um, uh -huh. It was like Pastor Brown or something like that, um, and so they kept coming up with the with the like the full name is Jeremiah Jedediah Obadiah Brown, <laughs> um, and and the like every time you asked them what what the guy's full name was, he just uh, they just kept adding new names. <laughs> yeah. To it, so it sounds like Morgan's D and D character yeah. that they're. That they're playing <laughs> yeah so it, it just kept getting longer <laughs> throughout the whole production um <laughs> i i later ended up doing that exact same play i ended up playing the same character and everything um at our because we we did it as a high school thing um but they they ended mm -hmm. up doing that play not too long afterwards at our local community theater mm -hmm. i ended up playing the same character the uh the reverend character that morgan had played was played by a gay guy <laughs> Uh, which was very funny because like one minute he'd be like you know reading off the script he'd be like fire and brimstone like uh anybody who teaches the theory of evolution is going to the pits of hell and then the next minute he'd be like hey guys how's it going <laughs> he was just like a chill guy <laughs> i love that um uh also the the guy that played the defense attorney um in the community theater production became like the grandpa because there were a couple of us kids who who played yeah. like uh students that um mm -hmm. this teacher had taught evolution to um and the the guy playing the defense attorney was just like the sweetest guy he was he was like grandpa um mm -hmm. it was really cool it was that was the only production i ever did with that particular theater i wanted to do more i just never uh got the opportunity to audition but um, yeah. but it, it was it was also partly <laughs> like oh you you just did this play you already know the script and everything, um, you just show up to rehearsal, uh, kind of thing. <laughs> it's not like a musical or anything. So it was just like a straight play. Yeah. Um, but it was it was really funny. I I played a little kid who was like a student in in this classroom, and the opening scene is uh him tormenting uh one of his friends uh, a little girl with a worm and being like this is where your family came from you know kind of thing amazing um it was it was a little uh in the high school production it was gummy worms that we used so i would always just like mm -hmm. as soon as i walked off stage i would eat the worm in front of everyone um but, <laughs> but we had like a like a little rubber worm prop in the um community theater production so i wasn't able to i wasn't able to do that but we did the uh instead of being in the theater for the community theater one it was um we did it in the actual courthouse that was right next door because <laughs> it's a court drama oh, wow yeah so we had that kind of authenticity of it all being done in the courtroom it was really cool i got to sit in the defendant's chair and be like yeah, my teacher taught me that Mr. Darwin said that we all came from monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I was I was only in like one uh, theater production just because like I'm a theater kid, but I have really bad anxiety, so stage fright is not the best thing in the world. Yeah. Um, but I did do a pit orchestra for oh, a musical. Yeah. Um, and that was Guys and Dolls. Oh my god. Super fun. Yeah, um, I was Yeah. I was not the only uh 
flutist, thankfully. Um, I was sitting next to a senior, and I was a freshman, so he handled all, like, the hard stuff, and I was just, like, the backup. Yeah. And, like, played the, the harmonies. But it was it was a very fun show to do. It was one of my favorites. We, um, we had a pit orchestra for exactly one of our productions in high school. Mm. Um, in the well, Heights. What, what was the show? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love In the Heights. Uh well, so there were there were a few problems with our particular production of In the Heights. First of all, uh we're... most of most of the theater club is white. <laughs> oh. Uh <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so it was a very whitewashed production. Um and then on top of that, um the the pit orchestra was the band. Um and the yeah. band and the theater club fucking hated each other. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, so, like a lot of the a lot of the kids that were doing the pit orchestra didn't want to be there. Mm -hmm. And so the music could have been better, and the the, the casting could have been better. Genuinely, yeah. it was. Oh, it... we're in Florida, though. I can't believe y'all still whitewashed it. Uh, listen. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't as bad as it sounds. Like we, like you know, we still had a Latino guy play Snobby and you know all that. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. A lot of the cast was whitewashed to the point where um, my mom was really confused when the movie came out because um, in oh in the God, no. in the actual like production and in the movie. Uh, Benny is played by a black guy. Uh, I think it yes. was I think it was Chris Jackson in the original Broadway production. Yes. Uh, um, Benny in our show was played by a Jewish kid. Um, <laughs> so when uh, Mom saw the movie, like she knew that like our production had been heavily whitewashed. She did not realize uh -huh. that Benny is supposed to be black. <laughs> so she was confused when she saw the movie. She was like, "I thought Benny was supposed to be Jewish." I was like, "No, Mom. <laughs> Benny was, was played by just... Chris Jackson." <laughs> <laughs> um in the in the original Oof. show and she was like mm -hmm. oh that makes so much more sense <laughs> um it was it was just kind of a funny thing um cuz cuz the actual script never actually you know mentions oh Benny is black it just mentions that he's not latino yeah cuz cuz um <laughs> Uh, Nina's dad gets a little upset about that. Yeah. But, yeah. It was just a, <laughs> a really funny thing. Um, our production was awful. <laughs> yeah. And it was also the most fun I think I had with any of our productions, because I, I wasn't... I usually ended up getting one of the lead roles because I was, like, teacher's pet with our mm -hmm. theater teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, with that one, I was ensemble because I was... I was too white even for our whitewashed cast. Yeah, for my high school, uh, we did Guys and Dolls, which um, I had a lot of fun. And um, do you know anything about like the show? No? Uh, not offhand. I know it's very popular, yeah. but I don't think I've ever seen it or heard it's, any of the songs from it's it. It's about, like, gambling and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and there's a part in the show where um, a character is led down into a sewers to into, like, a gambling, uh, secret gambling ring. Mm -hmm. And um, my high school actually, uh, we did a really cool thing where we um, the set builders um, they, before they go into the, um, the the gambling ring they're up on like they're kind of high up on the stage on the platform and they put a uh, a slide like a swirly slide and that's <laughs> where they go down into the sewers it's like that's so that's cool fantastic. that's fantastic such cute staging i love that um, but yeah no i i really enjoyed that production and then we did little mermaid nice um, classic yeah um what else did we Oh, we did this one weird musical no one's heard of. It's like Cheers, not Cheers. I was gonna say what? Cheers is a TV show, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know, but it was about, like, football and stuff in the 30s. I don't remember much of it. Oh, okay. And then 
senior year was Newsies. Oh, it was supposed to be man. Newsies. And then COVID. Oh, man. That sucks. I fucking um, love Newsies. Mm hmm. They redid it uh, when we all came back to school, but I wasn't there. Yeah. And then we. Um, and then this past year, uh, they did a sister act. Nice. Yeah, which apparently was very, very good. Um, <laughs> um, God, what is that? What is that one called? Um, <laughs> I missed out on uh, doing the big musical um, my freshman year. Uh huh. Because the way our, th our theater department did things is there was always a, a musical and then um, a straight play and then a couple of uh, student directed one acts at the end of the year. Ah. Um, and I missed out on the big musical freshman year because I was in the band and um, we weren't allowed to do both. Um, because I was in mm -hmm. I was in marching band and had like obligations with that. Um, but yeah. I, but I was able to do the straight plays that they did uh, later that year. <clears throat> and for that one, they did a couple of one acts. One of them mm -hmm. was called "The Future Is in Your Tiny Hands," which is um, basically like a bunch of kindergarten students doing like presidential style debates. Um, I was not in that one. Oh, I was in the good other news. one that we did. That was the name of the musical. Good news. Okay. <laughs> I I I don't remember it at all, and I don't think anyone did. Fair enough. Um. Oh yeah. Sorry for interrupting. No, 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 you're, good, you're good. <laughs> but yeah, no. So that was that was one of the one acts they did. I was not in that one. I was in the other one act we did, which was a terrible, god awful play. I want you. <laughs> to just imagine what this play is going to be just by the title of Lone, all right? Okay. It was called okay. Harry's Hotter at Twilight. Oh. It, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a really bad parody of Harry Potter and Twilight, and it also uh, references a bunch of other big pop culture things from the 2000s and 2010s. Um, sounds like... It sounds like a really bad version of a very Potter musical and Puff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was bad. Um, I was I was one of the Death Eater stand-ins. Uh, we were called the Fine Diners. Um, I, I see. And uh, oh my god, the fucking <laughs> fucking um. One of the scenes that I was in was the one where we resurrect the Voldemort stand-in, the fine diner, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the way that it says in the script that it happens is we bake a giant cake and then the fine diner pops out of the top of the cake and all of that shit um, in, a, in a big bombastic reveal. Um, mm -hmm. Uh... We had the woodworking students, uh, the shop students, do the uh, the giant cake prop. So, a very mm -hmm. square cake, like really square. Like this cake looked like it came out of Minecraft. Um, second of all, it was quite large and heavy, without uh, the the other actor inside the cake. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was even heavier with a person inside it. You know. Um, the, we, we did three shows of all of our plays, but we always had a preview night the night before for theater students. And on mm -hmm. preview night, um, we had the scene where we, you know, resurrected the fine diner and everything. And then we, you know, lights went down. We tried to push the big cake prop off of the set. Um, uh, we got it almost all the way off the set, but the wheels got stuck, like, on the little bump right on backstage um for a second the lights came back up and we were still trying to push it backstage <laughs> yeah lights went back down lights came back up we were still trying to push this thing off stage <laughs> yikes um lights go back down they come back up a third time we are still trying to push this thing off stage it got to the point where i i started making it a joke where i was like doing the comical thing of like the feet like 
violently going, like, uh, lifting off yeah. the ground cartoon style. Yeah. Um, which got a good laugh, uh, out of everyone. Lights go back down. We finally managed to get this thing <laughs> off the stage. Um, <laughs> lights come back up and they're able to do their next scene. Um, that didn't happen for any of the other performances. It was just that one night, but it was like, oh my god, we can't move this thing. Jesus Christ. I'm a dry kitty. Have fun with that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember for Little Mermaid, it was kind of a hellish production because the director wanted everyone to, like, roller skate and stuff like that. Yeah. And there was, like, line, like, like, line work. Mm hmm And it was not great. <laughs> yeah. Um... But yeah, no, I was thinking about um I was thinking about doing pit for that show and then uh the uh musical director um cuz I was like talking to her and I was like, "Oh yeah, like at the end of Guys and Dolls, I was, I was like I'd love to come back. This was super fun." And she's like, "Okay." And then um the year the year passes and then Little Mermaid's announced. I get put into a group chat with all the pit orchestra people. I was like, ah, oh, yay. And then I emailed her. I was like, thank you so much for adding me again. I can't wait to do another show. And she was like, oh, I didn't mean to put you in the group chat. I'm oh. going to remove you. And I was like, no. what? I had almost the exact opposite thing happen to me with yeah. one of our shows <laughs> where it was, um, I... We always had an option of when we were auditioning to be like if i don't actually make it in the show itself i want to be tech you know we had like an option that yeah. we could check off on the audition sheet for that and i would always check it because like i always thought behind the scenes stuff was cool um but i always yeah. ended up in the show itself so i never got to do tech or anything mm -hmm. um what ended up happening one time was uh i i did the audition and everything and then um i checked back the next day and my name wasn't on the cast list. Um, yeah. But we had a we had a theater club meeting that day anyway, so I figured I was gonna like stay behind after school anyway. I'll just show up, um, ask about if I made it into tech, whatever, that kind of a thing. Well, we're sitting down for the theater club meeting, and Sedge, our uh, theater teacher, uh, she starts handing out our scripts, and she hands one to me, and I was like. But why are you handing me a script? I didn't actually make it in the show itself. I wasn't on the cast list. And she said, "Oh no, no, no. that was a that was a mistake. I meant to I meant to put you on." I was like, "Oh, uh, okay, oh. Uh, cool. Uh, what character am I playing? Well, you're playing uh, these three characters here." Uh, I'm sorry. So, I went from having none characters to three characters. Um, yep. And then later, yeah. and then later on in that production, one of the one of the students either was had to drop out, or was like kicked out of the show, or something along those lines. I'm not a hundred percent sure what happened. Um, all I know mm -hmm. is that they were no longer in the show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, instead of giving that role to literally any of the extras that were in exactly one scene as a child, uh, who mm -hmm. does fucking nothing, um, they yeah. Sedge gave that role to me. What what show was this? It was a it was a terrible show. It was called The Dining Room, and it's like a bunch of oh. vignettes um, that all take place in a dining room. Um, okay. So it's like all the different scenes were like it was implied oh. to be the same dining room over the years, but also not. It, it's a weird show. It's bad. It's boring. It's dumb. Um, mm. My favorite role in that one was the crotchety old grandpa. <laughs> uh, cause uh, that character's like grandson comes in and asks for like money. Mm -hmm. Um, and the grandpa's like, "Fuck no! You want money? You get it yourself, <laughs> dumbass." Um, it, yeah. Uh, so I I almost did that one with a Scottish accent because I was like thinking like, "Oh, screw the <laughs> duck." Um, I didn't because I was like, my Scottish accent is going to be bad. Um, yeah. but yeah, so, but, um, I had, like, three other roles in that show, and I don't remember anything about any of the other three roles, because I don't care, <laughs> but, 
But it was it was just that one thing of like, you had all of these other actors who all want something else to do. And yeah. you give this role to me. I didn't argue with Sedge at the time because I was like, fine, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. no matter what I say, I, I'm going to end up having to do this anyway. Yeah. But I was a little fucked up. Just a wee bit. Yeah. Oh, God. It's I just looked at what my high school is putting on as, like, the play for the fall. Because we did fall and then, like, student one act and then spring musical. Yeah. Um, God, we're doing Romeo and Juliet. Oh, no. I... No. Oh man, now I don't want to. Now I'm not curious. high schoolers doing Shakespeare. I can't do that. <laughs> now I'm curious. What's the uh, student play? Is it gonna be under student play? Under performing arts, probably. Oh wow! Oh wow! There is nothing on this <laughs> website. <laughs> It's just, it just says performing arts, and then it's a blank screen. <laughs> God. Oh, man, hold on. Theater. Let me, let me search that up. Under. Oh, the homepage for our, um, our school's, um, theater thing is still the Guys and Dolls production from my freshman year. Vacations Club? I was a part of that. Um... It's cute. Oh my god, my German teacher still works there. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, ah, here we go. Yep, said you're still working there. How about that? <laughs> I can't see what they're doing, though, is the problem. Damn. Hold on. What if I what if I look up the actual name of the Oh, wait. We did Into the Woods, I think, uh recently as well. God, it's still a fucking Weebly site. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What this happened? website has not been updated since I have been there. Oh. <laughs> All right. God, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to dox anyone, but... Yeah. Oh my god. That was when we did Spelling Bee. Holy shit. Um, oh god. Were you in it? Yeah. We did We did the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee as my senior musical. And I was the kid who had to sing about having an erection. Oh. Oh yeah, I think we did that one year too. We did. There was a bold year where we did a fall musical and a spring musical. Whoa. It was, it was something. Yeah, no. Uh, for for a little bit of context, Cal. Uh, in in the show, no, Quizmo has transcended the dimensions. All right. Um, no, I can't go back to school. No. Uh, yeah. Th there's a show called the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. And, uh, in it, uh, the character that I played, uh, his name was Chip, I think. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Chip is the, like, previous year's Spelling Bee winner. Uh, and he's very egotistical about that. He's like, I'm, I'm the best speller of all time. Um, but, uh, he gets distracted by a girl in the audience, um, and he messes up a word. And then he has a song called My Unfortunate Erection. Um, <laughs> we had to sing the toned down version. Yeah. But the, the gist of it is basically the, the same. The kids bop version. Yeah, we, we, it, it is the kids bop version. It's called My Unfortunate Distraction. I thought about for the last night of the performance being like, this is my senior play. This is the last night of the performance. I'm going to sing. I didn't sing the full version. But I did mime having yeah. an erection. Uh, by sticking my hand in my pocket, so. Oh. Um. Uh, because I knew I wasn't gonna get in trouble for it at that point, and also because my friend had dared me to. <laughs> Fear. 
Not only not only did my friend dare me to do that, he also went down to my mother, who was in the audience, and was like, please, <laughs> give me your blessing for this. <laughs> Can I have your blessing? <laughs> uh, which she gave. So I was... Because I, I was yeah. literally like, all right, you have to ask my mother, and if she says it's okay, I will do it. And then, because this was during the intermission. Um, mm -hmm. And he went down and was like, please. And she was like, all right. <laughs> so then I did it. My grandparents were in the audience that night. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, my 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 sister did theater at the same school of course but before me mm -hmm. so but she was tech um like 24 7 because she did not want to be up on stage um, yeah understandable but i was i remember i was like the youngest kid in the audience i was maybe like eight or nine and i was watching um a chorus line mm -hmm. <laughs> which yeah if you know the show yeah there's some heavy subjects on here uh, in that show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't get it, of course, as a kid, but I, I understand. I understood some stuff, like character being gay and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then the first musical I think that really stuck with me was Hello Dolly, which I don't care what y'all say. I love that show. Um, yeah. Um, and then what else? I think the first. Oh yeah, they did big. They did big the musical. All right. <laughs> Which, honestly, it was kind of fun. It was, it was fun doing that. My sister helped make the giant keyboard that they danced on. Nice. Um, I also found um, you know, the Letterman the that the main guy wears. Yeah. I found, um, I found it in the Lost and Found at my school. And so I was like, wow, what a nice Letterman jacket. And then, the, and this was years so after. I'll, so I stole it. <laughs> um, uh, so I didn't even know until, I didn't even know until my sister was like, that looks like the jacket we used in our production of Big. Um, and you were like, yeah. I was like, is it? And then I looked back on references and I was like, oh my God, I took it. I, I still have it. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Um, I was like, I didn't know. That, that, that is a in, that is a triple the, SR get. It was in the Lost and Found in um the school's gym. Which I don't know how it ended up there. Our the, the Letterman jacket was not our school's colors. All. Sure. So I couldn't have confused it, it couldn't have been confused for our a Letterman jacket provided by our school. Yeah. That's so, so that's so funny though. Yeah, just, I don't know. I, I I still have it. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh man. Um, what other productions did my sister do? I've been trying to convince um, my my little brother because he's going into high school now. I've been trying to convince him to be part of the theater club for a while, and he just won't. <laughs> Which does is he like? Does he like musicals? Mel, don't I, you don't you. D didn't you go to the Prometheus School of, of of Movies? Don't try to get your family into the family business. Don't do that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, um, no. It's I mostly joke about it. I mostly joke to him about it. Oh, you should join the theater club, um, because like, kids more into sports than he is into the arts, which is fine. You know, okay. that's that's his thing. Um, mm -hmm. but I've been I've been joking around about it with him for for a while. I've been like, oh, you should go into the theater club. But now he's going into high school. Now he's a, it's an actual possibility. Yeah. Christ, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, my. Uh, it's so weird watching. Um, it's so weird watching people who are like freshmen when you were seniors. Like now they've graduated and stuff, and now it's like completely different kids that you don't know who they are at all and i'm like oh god i i saw a couple of kids today at work that were like you know oh class of 2023 and i did the quick math about that and i was like these kids were still in middle school when i graduated yeah I, th that kind of hurt yeah. 
Yeah, no, like, my, my ex's uh, little sister, mm -hmm. um, when my ex and I got together, we were, I was a sophomore, he was a junior, and his little sister was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. She's now graduated. She's off to college this year, and I'm like, God. Whoa. It's, that's, it's, that's new. It's, it's, feel old. <laughs> I'm gonna be 22 next weekend. Well, I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I am 24. I was gonna and say. I hate it. I was gonna say you don't know about me, but I'm feeling 23. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Seeing Hozier kills you, birthday. kills you, kills you, kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing um Hozier, Ho Hozier for my birthday next oh. week, and I'm so excited. That's cool. I I yeah. went I went to Epcot this year for my birthday. Um, for work or for pleasure? For 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 pleasure. I I went okay. I went with uh, my mom and her boyfriend. Um, I was just oh. like, hey, uh, you guys want to go to Epcot? <laughs> oh yeah, you could probably get them in for yeah. reduced. Price, right? Uh, I have uh, a set number of passes that I can take people to the parks with uh, throughout the year. Nice. I think it's I think it's sixteen passes a year, um, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, I was just like, I was just like, hey, mommy, you want to go to Epcot uh, on my birthday? And she was like, yeah, sure. Do you mind if my boyfriend comes along? I was like, yeah, I like the guy, so I don't I don't see why not. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Um. Which is cool. Um. That man is so funny. He uh he wears a kilt everywhere he goes. It's like really people. What? Just, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. People just know him as like the kilt guy. It's really funny. Um. He got a ton of compliments on it at uh, Epcot. <laughs> uh, especially in the UK pavilion. Um, but, uh, oh, no, he's, he's super cool. He, like, works in construction, and he wears a kilt, and <laughs> he's just, like, a genuinely nice guy, too, which is really cool. I don't mean, like, a Reddit nice guy, I mean, like, an actual nice guy. Sounds like quite the character. Who's his favorite Disney character, do you know? I'm not sure offhand. Um, this is the true test. It's the true test. <laughs> His favorite Disney character is um, uh, Scroop from Treasure Planet. <laughs> God. No. Who? I, I, Disgusting. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I have, I have no idea. Uh, Scroop is the Scroop is the spider guy with the claws oh. that kills Arrow oh. in Treasure Planet. Okay. Yeah. Oh that, God, I have a session. Um. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, Colleen, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say like, don't you go to D and D like earlier on his time? I was wondering like, oh, maybe, maybe it's canceled today. I guess yeah, not. No, I'll, I'll be there. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I completely forgot I had a session. I had a D and D session tonight. Hello, cat. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> Goodbye, stream. Yeah. Uh, Have a good night. Nice. See you, Colleen. Good chill vibes. I'll talk to y'all whenever. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man! <laughs> it's kind of out of nowhere. Oh shit! I've we got love Colleen. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we love Colleen. Oh man! So it's just you and me and the floorboards. Oh, hopefully there's no hearts beating under it. Mm hmm. Don't want to get buried behind a wall. But the cask of Amontillado, it's so um, how delicious. Many, how many, how many, po how many Pokemon can you fit in one minute? Go. <laughs> uh, I'd, I, you know what? I would come up with some, but, um, quote the Raven nevermore. Um. Yeah. That's all I got, by the way. <laughs> I can't think of any more. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no this 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 joke died out. Um you could say it was the the mask of the red death. Man. 
It's that was honestly, a, that was really bad. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't it's have almost, said that. It's 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 like it's like it's like it's like three hours from midnight. Something pretty dreary out of any. It is actually genuinely <laughs> three hours from midnight where I am right now. So. Yeah, no, I looked at my clock so that don't make sense. No, I looked at my clock so that don't make sense. Yeah. So, so. shinks right. so are we actually gonna get to making machine today do you think well i've been trying to i mean i it, for for a good chunk of this stream i've been trying to get palmy steps in so i can evolve it in a palm and actually you know put the move set on it and everything because apparently it doesn't learn half the moves that i want until it, it fully evolves so i'm this telling is, you mel you gotta do the rubber band trick it's I, so easy i don't want to do don't the rubber band do trick i don't want to mess up my controller Feeling okay. lost? Try the view from above. Oh, that's the Pokedex. Hold on. Yeah, this shit doesn't help. <laughs> but no, honestly, pre pre uh, but like, uh, pressing uh, right on your left joystick and left on your right to make yourself run in a circle is, is a prime way to make it happen. You don't have to put a rubber on it. Just do that. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I do want to try something real quick, though. Hold on, let me... Uh, I don't want sort of by name, I want sort of by type. Let me try to level up Wembley real quick to see if it works. Oh, it does! Nice! Nice, 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 nice! We got enough steps in. All right. Oh, cool. Wembley is evolving. Oh, Look at that little Wemblin fool. Wembley wants to learn the move Revival Blessing. Good, that's one of the moves that I want on this thing. Uh, yes. yes. The the strat is going to be put a Lepa Berry on Wembley so that I can mm -hmm. use Revival that's, Blessing more yep. than once. Yep, yep, that's the way. This is the way. All right, um, now I also want... Hold on. This one I do want sort of by name because... I will never be able to find these things otherwise. Um, I want... Was it Ice Punch the one I made? Ice Punch, yes. Okay, I want Ice Punch. Um, I'm going to put that where Thundershock is right now. And I'm going to put Close Combat and Thunder Punch on this thing, but I need... Hold on. Uh... And like I said, I'll probably like move a lot of these moves around at some point. Mm -hmm. Um, just as I, you know, get closer to actually completing this team, and as I get to testing it a little bit, um, I'll probably fix a lot of this stuff. Alright, but, because I also want to put Thunder Punch on this thing? Um, oh my god, he's a big boy! Look at him! Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I want to put Thunder Punch on it as well. Um... And I just don't have a uh, a Thunder Punch TM right now. I could make it. I don't think I have the materials to make it right at the moment, but I could make it if I needed to. A Flute Stone, nice. Understandable. Enjoying picnicking? Yes. All right. This one's glowing a lot. What's what's this one? It's a Fire type. Five star fire type Chansey. Whoa, that sounds abysmal. Let's fucking do it. Um. Oh no, Mel, it's <laughs> gonna take forever. It's fine. I got Dragonite. It'll be fine. It's got a water type move on it. <laughs> Because this is the way of water, all right? All right. Kills you, kills you, kills you, kills you. All I'm saying is that Sully stick together, okay? I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast for you. <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> My man, you brought a Weavile and a Heracross to a Fire-type match? All right. Oh, this is going to be so bad. 
hopefully. This is Dragon Tales right now. It's almost time. God, I haven't thought about that show in forever. Op opening's a banger for that show, for it real. It is, it is. Alright, so this is the strat. Spam Aqua Tail until I can't anymore. No! Blissey, god damn it! Alright, it's fine. Aqua Tail. Oh, it's gonna... Oh, yep, it's gonna kill Dragonite. That's fine. I got time. Mr. Incredible looks at watch. I got time. I got time. When you have time. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the the really fucked up version of that where it's like all of the different captions that are basically just, yeah, I still got time when you have time. And then it's like a demotivational, like, yeah, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the iFunny watermark yeah. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, energy has begun to gather around Blissey. Terrestrialize your Pokemon to stop Blissey. Blissey used Heal Pulse. Oh, cool. It healed me. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yep. Here we go. Cool. I wish I didn't play that animation every single time. I... Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, it was called getting into this raid. I didn't. I didn't consider the idea that I might be an ice type terrastal instead of a dragon type terrastal. Yup. I'm very good at this game. I also only have one thing left for Aqua Tail, so I better make it count. God. Damn it. Motherfucker, you soft boy. Uh, uh, it's a it's a it's it's a chancy. It's a blissy. They're gonna <laughs> if this is a cow farm, you're gonna fuck cows outside! I'm just gonna not deal with this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I feel like I feel like a parent who said don't touch that hot stove. It's going to be hot. <laughs> and then I touched it. They touched the hot stove. I told you. All right, but I'm going to touch it again real quick. I want to I want to I want <laughs> I want to see if I have oh any other God. Pokemon. No, I want to see if I have any other Pokémon that might work for this. Probably not. But it's always worth the look. See, it's a fire type terrestrial, so water will be super effective against it. But it's a fairy type normally that's gonna have a lot of fairy type moves. So I want my terrestrial type to be steel or poison, I guess. Yes. Yeah. I'm very good at strategy. Which you would never be able to figure out by watching me play Pokemon. <laughs> Certainly not. Oh man, you know what? I'm just not gonna bother. I don't have anything high enough level for it anyway. God, another float stone! How many stones floating out here? Bitches be floating. That brother's floating in the air. How could his hands do this? Oh, someone get him out oh, the air. Get him out the air. <laughs> oh. Alright, cool. What's this? What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? It's a poison type, I think. Uh, it's poison type magnemite. Or magneton. Excuse hmm. me. Um... <clears throat> Nah. Hold on, I forgot. I 
can't use any emotes right now. What do you mean? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> the fucking icon Swear. for the I choose you emote. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I'll make a little heart. Aww. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, right. I wanted to go to a Pokemon Center. So I could figure out what the fuck I need to make uh, Thunder Punch. Which, I mean, I probably could just look up, but where's the fun in that? Do you not have a Thunder Punch TM in your, in your, in your bag at all? Uh, not right at the moment. Which is why I need to go make one. Because then... Because um, then Wembley's basically going to be done after that. Um... Other than just, I need to get an ability patch to give it Iron Fist. Um. Problem is, ability patches uh, are very rare drops and are only obtainable through, I think, six star raids. So. <laughs> Counterpoint. Yeah. I could just spot you one. Are you gonna gen it? I think I have one. No, I literally just have an ability patch that I did from Raven. I, I, I just never used it. Oh, okay. You're up so late, Champion Turnip. You're here to let your weary Pokemon rest? There is no rest for the wicked! Um. Though I will say, I can get you literally anything in this game. Well, all you gotta do is ask. See, that's the thing is. I, I will do it for you. I, I just don't like genning stuff, is, is, the, is my big thing. Um, I like doing everything as legitimately. I'm, I'm talking more in, in more in terms of items. Yeah, even. yeah, but uh, that's what I'm saying is like if it's if it's like added into the game by a non-legitimate way, I I don't want it. You know. Mm -hmm. I just have a thing against that. Is is my big thing. All right, so I want 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 um thunder punch. I, I know for a fact I don't have the stuff to make it, but... I need three Metatites sweat. Cool. Where can I find Metatites? Uh, I need the Pokedex. Um... Uh, alphabetical order. Because that's going to help me a little bit more. Oh, hold on. I, I can check my thing. Yeah, 200 volumes. All right, then. Um, I completely forgot I could do that. Uh, Metatite. Habitat. Okay. Lives in mountainous areas and caves, sensitive to the presence of humans. But there should be a bunch right near the starting area. Which, I'm not too far from anyway, because there's Los Platos right there. If I go over here to mm. my house, then I should be able to hop in a couple caves there and go fight some Metatites until I get their sweat. I'm on standby to give you your ability patch. Alright, um... Let me go fight these Metatites first. That way I have that shit ready to go. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna jump up. We're gonna kick back. We're gonna whip around and we're gonna spin. And then we'll jump back through it again. As soon as I can find some goddamn Metatites. We're also gonna gobble it and swallow it and grip down the side of it. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to yuck. Um. Alright. 
gonna jump. We're gonna jump. Could you could could you imagine if it was face up? If if it was face up, ass down. I'm pretty sure that's. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> no, but like fucking like that. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that is a position. Yes. Also, I think you do the code. All right. Cool. Uh, give give sec. Yep. Where are you? Where is he? Um. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. All right. Um. <laughs> there's this one. This is one channel that I I watch called Able Rabo. Yeah. And they they do like commentaries of watching like the uh, like, I don't know popular Netflix cartoons. Mm -hmm. And they 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 did like commentary on like watching the Netflix Voltron series. Yeah. And like they have a very funny editing style. Mm -hmm. So, but they're also like fans of F MCR or is, is it? I don't know. That, what that band was that is. Uh, Blink One Eighty Two. That song. It did. Um, Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they're fans of that of that of that band. So like whenever someone said where are you, they just go well yeah, but they would intersplice it with the audio of the actual songs, <laughs> and they did it all the time. It's fantastic. So um, you simply have to you simply have to check out that channel. It's so funny. They they don't get enough credit. This is a call out for everyone in the chat who's still here. Look up a channel called Avo Rabo. A V O R A B O. They are a, they are amazing. Watch their their uh, Voltron series. Watch their series. It's so good. I, uh, I I got on kind of a, a Blink-182 kick a while back, because um, uh, right as they were announcing when they were going to release the Clone High revival, uh, one of the trailers had uh, What's My Age Again? And I was like, oh, fuck, now I want to listen to Blink-182. And um, uh, <laughs> that song, uh, I Miss You, is so funny to me, because it's like this very, like, it's like what a teenager would write, you know, like as yeah. as like a breakup song. Um, and then it's also because it's that like Midwest emo kind of genre. the The way they pronounce mm -hmm. a lot of the lines in that song is very funny. Um, Don't waste your time on me. You're already the voice inside my head. That's literally how they sing that line. It's so funny to me. It really, it, the way they pronounce, the way these uh, freaking early two thousands bands pronounced words was so weird. I don't know why. It's like they're all from Baltimore. Like, what's going on? But that's that's why it's called uh, Midwest emo. That's why it's its own genre. Is because like um, that was like a defining feature of it was how they would pronounce a lot of the words. Um, and also a lot of those Mel, were I'm the from the Midwest, and I don't pronounce words like that. Okay, but the Midwest is a big place. <laughs> it's cultural appropriation. Um. But yeah, no, that's, uh... It's just... There's a, a shirt a while back. Like, one of those, like, shirts that go hard kind of thing. Where it was, it was that mm -hmm. line. Oh, like the freaking SpongeBob money, in, in, uh, money one. Yeah, it, but it was, it was that line from that song written out phonetically. <laughs> um, uh, like for how they, how they sing it, as opposed to, uh, mm. as opposed to the actual line itself. It's very good, but it's like one of those kind of if you know, you know things. Yeah. Um. Uh, on. It said they live in caves. Come on. Um, but the, the other thing about that song that gets me is um, the line, like they reference Nightmare Before Christmas in it, uh, which is like kind of weird the first time you hear it. Um, because one of the lines why is they, uh, why would they do that? Because one of the lines is like, "We can live like Jack and Sally if we want." Um, where you can always find me, and we'll have Halloween on Christmas. Like, Alright. Cause cause at first the line we can live like Jack and Sally, like if you don't know Nightmare Before Christmas, or you're not thinking about it, that's just like a line, right? Um, but then they specifically reference mm -hmm. having Halloween on Christmas and then you're like, oh, it is a nightmare before Christmas reference. <laughs> um 
because they are explicitly referring to the characters of Jack Skellington and Sally. Such a weird poll. Yeah. Which, like, I'm fine with it. I love that movie, but, like, yeah, it is It is a weird poll for a line in an emo song. I guess it's not for an emo song, but, like, a weird pull for a song like that, you know? Yeah. It just kind of, kind of comes out of nowhere, and then they never bring it up again after that. Come on. I wish this game had, like, the Sheikah sensor, like in uh, Breath of the Wild, but, like, for Pokemon. Yeah, it'd be nice. Um, I might not even be in the right spot anyway. Um, what are you looking for again? Metatite. Um, because I need I need Metatite Sweat to craft the Thunder Punch TM. Which, you know, they didn't have to put a crafting mechanic in this game, but it's fine. Oh, I'm not Honestly, in Honestly, right it area. beats having to go grind money to buy a TM. That's true. Because then you gotta have, you have money. Yeah. Okay, so I... Okay, apparently what I want to do is I want to be over here. Because this will probably be... A little bit of a better place to look for metatites. <clears throat> no, that's that's totally fair, yeah. Um God, now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. God damn it. Where are you? I'm sorry. It's fine. That being said, uh, I, I mentioned they did uh, What's My Age Again for the Clone High trailer. There, there could not have been a better song that they could have picked for that trailer. It's a really good song for, for Clone High. Yeah. <gasps> it's the creature. It's Glamora. La creature. La creatura. That's actually what I named my uh, Glamora, was La Criatura. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. Ah, there they are. All right. Cool. Die. All right. <laughs> the fucking low poly metatite over here. All right. No, it's good now. Oh, this is. I did not prepare for this. I forgot how high level Pokemon are in this area. Uh, I will I will yep. remedy that real quick. Alright. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, cool. Now I will fight you. There's no kill like overkill. Nice. Thra leveled up. And it wants to learn detect. No. I don't even know why you're in my party right now, to be completely honest with you. Alright. We're gonna fight this guy, because this guy's also gonna give us Metasite Sweat, so it'll work. Hell yeah. Play rough. Die. Some of these things, these items we collect from these Pokemon, make me question how we collect these. I don't want to think about it if I'm being completely honest. Alright, we got two Metatites, but I'm just gonna get this last one real quick, just so I have an extra one. I assume we collect Metatite Sweat in the same way you collect Gas Tears in Minecraft. Arm okay. first. Alright. Um, Meet with my partner in the bedroom. Alright, cool. I am going to 
fly to the Pokemon Center. Because thank God you can fly in caves, apparently. Yep. Alright, this is the technical machine. The technical machine machine. Okay, uh, I want... The Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder Punch! Alright. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wouldn't it have been really funny if I accidentally, um, fucked that one up? And had to go get, collect more Meditite sweat. That would have been, that would have been really funny of me. That would not have been fun. All right, cool. <clears throat> Wembley's move set is done for now. Um, all right, let me let me connect to the uh, internet so I can open up the Poke Portal and we can exchange pleasantries. Be sure to cover screen when putting. Be sure to cover up screen and put it in code. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let's, let's do... We don't want any, any sneaky de sneak sneaks. Yeah. Alright, Poke Portal, please. Alright, um... Cool, let me, uh, let me pull up the, pull up the code real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna do that real quick so that nobody sees the code. Um, it's Link Trade, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh no, 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 it's it's. Oh, actually, I guess it could be Link Trade. Hold on, yeah. I had never even thought about that. I just kind of figured that's what we. Oh. Hold on. Is it not? Yeah, yeah. So Link Trade. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. In that case, in the in the meantime, I'm going to uh, just so the audience. It, it'll literally take a minute. Hold on. Yeah. News. What's what's news? Mewtwo. Lead up to Mewtwo. Okay. Hold. There. There's the code. All right. Uh, give me a second. So it's. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. A trade partner has been found. Let's fucking go. Yeah. All right. Uh, we should be good now. Cool. Um. <clears throat> cool. Do you want a dark Terra type? Flamigo. <laughs> sure. Cool. For Larvesta. I just, I just, I just use one of my burner Pokemon. Oh, I get it, cause it's a fire type. Well, okay, I didn't think about <laughs> that, but I usually just, I, what I do is I just catch a bunch of Pokemon, and then when I gen, I just have Pokemon that I can replace yeah. with Pokemon that I gen. Communicating. Who is it communicating to? That it is. All right. Sending Flamigo to Espada. Goodbye, Flamigo. Whoa! It just vanished into the roof of the Pokemon Center there. <laughs> oh. There it is. Look at that shit. We got a Larvesta. Swag. Take good care of a Larvesta. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, thank you for the ability patch. I'm gonna go ahead and use it real quick. Yep, yep. Just in case. I I, I don't want there to be any like off chance of the code showing back. Okay, no, it's not going to. Perfect. I'm gonna disconnect from the internet. I'm gonna finally get off of the internet. I am no longer terminally online. Alright, uh, boxes. Must Away held item. Seriously though, thank you for this because this would have sucked trying to get on my own. Yeah. 
And I'm just gonna make sure before I use this that this is the hidden ability that I need on Palmot. Yes, okay. Do you want to change one of his ability? Yes. His ability is now Iron Fist. Let's fucking go. Wembley's done. Like, EVs and everything. I, <laughs> I still got to do IVs at some point, which I, I will do now, later. But I, I will say, mm -hmm. I don't know if close combat is boosted by Iron Fist. Um, I don't think it is. This Pokemon's punch-based attacks have 1.2 power. Uh, Sucker Punch is not boosted. That's what uh, Pokemon I think it has to say. have, like... It, 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 does it say close combat is boosted? It, it doesn't say close combat is boosted. It says Sucker Punch is not. Yeah. Um, Because that would be fucking broken if it didn't was. But, dra but Drain Punch is. That's a pretty useful move on that Pokemon. Oh, that's true. Does it learn Drain Punch? Hold on. It does. Does not. But what? Like... It totally does. What's going on? Hold on. Or maybe I'm misreading it. No? If you're looking at it. What? No, hold on. Palmot doesn't learn Drain Punch. Is... Hold on. At least not according to Showdown. Well, Showdown banned a lot of things. I wouldn't be able to count on any good accuracy. Give me a minute, hold on. It's a kind of swarm. Alright, I'm gonna check my Pokedex app that has nothing to do with Smogon or anything like that. So, uh, let's see. Gen 9. Uh, fighting type. Bomot. Moves. No, it doesn't learn Drain Punch. It's fine. I, I don't need it anyway. Alright. Um, cool. So, I will need to fix oh. IVs at some point, but it looks like Wembley is pretty much ready to go. Oh, uh, you know what I'm... You know, I, think, I think I know what I'm complaining with. Hmm. Iron Hand was learned to drain punch. Oh, you and know what? They, that'll do it. And they had the same type. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, uh... Um, Alright, so next up, what's going to be the next easiest to do? Uh, Greninja is not going to be easy to do because I don't have any Greninjas and I missed out on the raids for those ones. I can breed you one. I do appreciate it. I No, I didn't even think about doing it at the time, and now I'm like seriously regretting that. Yeah. Corviknight's probably going to be the next okay. easiest. So I'll go ahead and do Corviknight. Um, I need it to be Impish. So I need to know... Do you want it to be... Do you want, do you want it to be... Uh, I don't know if Battle Bond is actually allowed. I don't... No, I, I'm not counting it on being Battle Bond. I'm counting it on being Protean. Okay. Um, so I need an Impish Corviknight. Uh, what's its egg group? Flying. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to search. Uh, nature. Impish. Search. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, I've got an impish ditto. That's going to help a lot, actually. Great. So. This is what we're going to do. Uh, ditto, you're going to move into here. Uh, marijuana, you're going to go back into the box. Sorry, bud. And then... Fairly certain I already have a Corviknight somewhere. Yes. There's my Corviknight. And then I want Ditto to have the Everstone. I think. Search. Hold on. Held item. Holding an item. Search. Got the lucky egg that's got honey. Alpharita has a poke it all. Revile has a focus sash. There's the Everstone. Okay, I knew I had one somewhere. Uh, put away held item and then give an item to hold. We're gonna give this guy the Everstone. There it is. We're gonna go have a picnic. I I will be completely honest. I kind of hate the breeding mechanics in this game. Yeah, they suck. It's not. It's not. It's not good. I'm not usually the kind of person that is like bring back old shit because I like new ideas and everything. This is bad though. This is bad. Bring back the daycare. Alright, um... Let's make a sandwich. Let's make a sandwich with egg power. That way my Pokemon will fuck. Which is what we want. Oh, fuck yeah, we're gonna make the ultra peanut butter sandwich. We're gonna give that shit a gold pick and everything. Alright, and then banana. <sighs> that might be. I wanna die. Uh, well, yeah. This might be the most beautiful sandwich I've ever made in this game. Holy shit. Usually I kind of fuck it up because, like, the perspective is just off enough that, like, I don't know where things are going to land. Yeah. But I think I've finally gotten used to that. Uh-oh. We're about to watch the best cutscene ever made in a video game. God. <laughs> like, it's crazy that... The one in Sword and Shield looks better than this one. Yeah. People really did complain about the Sword and Shield one, didn't they? I don't know if people complained about it, but, like, you can actually see the character eating something. Yeah. That's just a PNG. <laughs> it, yeah. Listen. I'm a, I'm a Sword and Shield apologist, and that is one of the many arguments that I have, is at least it looks like they're eating a thing in their picnics. Alright, cool. I'll throw the ball. Get on the ball! Alright. God, Corviknight is fucking huge, by the way. I always forget how massive oh, yes. Corviknight is. Oh. Thank you, Ditto. Those things would scare the absolute... Out of me when it popped out of nowhere. There's a Pokemon egg. Let's fucking take that shit. All right, cool. Um. Oh no, I didn't mean to bring out Mirai on. No, we weren't. We're gonna. We're gonna go. Oh, and there's my little soccer ball. No, come back. It vanished. Anyway, uh, bag. No, not bag. Boxes. That's gonna be it. 
So Corviknight is going to go back here. And then Ditto's going to go in here. Also, I'm going to... Oh, right. I can't do that. Um, all right. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Wembley's going to come into my party. And then Ditto, you're going to move back into the box. And then I'm also going to take your Haberstone from you so I have it. And then we also have a very special guest. It's a Corviknight egg. Which we're now going to do this number two. Oh, you know what? I should also probably put um, Talon Flame in here so uh, it hatches faster. Where's my SCP at? There it is, my SCP. might take a second. Out of curiosity, Cal, do you remember how many um, EV points the feathers give? Is it just one? They give one. Okay. Each. Cool. The vitamins give ten. Yeah. I want to know because I have kind of a weird EV spread on Corviknight, and I just want to make sure I get that right. They, there are, now again, they're, they're expensive, but there are places where you can find diamonds. Yeah. If you go to the one, if you go to the one chancy store in, uh, uh, at the main city. Yeah. Near, near the left of the, near the right of the city, they sell them there in the chancy depot. Mm-hmm. Right. Or chancy of supply code. Here we go. Chamberlain. So, we go into my bag real quick. Because I think I have plenty of the feathers. So I want to do, let's see, eight special defense. Do you, uh, do you not have any of the mints? I do have mints. Why? Because I was saying, you, you, you didn't have to, like, breed a whole new Corviknight change to build you. I... You just make it if you want to, you could use I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't like them. Like, I'm glad the mints exist for people that want to use them. I don't like using them myself. Fair enough. So, I just rather have one like off the bat that I know is gonna be whatever nature I need. So, actually, we will check somewhere real quick. I just want to make sure. Uh, plus. Defense minus special attack. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's uh, impish by nature, and it's highly persistent. It's currently a flying Terra type, which I will fix at some point, because I think it would be funny to have a different Terra type on this one. Um, now that shit is going to... I cannot help with because That's going to be awful. Yeah, it's going to be awful, but I, I know I can fix it at least. All right, so I want... Uh, 26 defense. All right. Here we go. Time to go spend I honestly, all of my I, goddamn money. Yeah, I honestly don't know how they thought that that was, like, a reasonable thing. What? Oh, no competitive player wants to grind out those stupid shards. No one wants to do that. What were they thinking? They weren't. They really weren't. They were being, in the words it's of like, uh, the angry video game nerd, a bunch of laugh and joke and numb nuts. It's like they're forcing us. Forcing people who actually just want to battle to gen. Otherwise, they're going to have to struggle. Like, it's going to take a week to make an entire team, and no one wants to do that. It's people who just want to battle. Yeah, haha, no one ever wants to it do that. It takes too long. <laughs> I, I... Yeah, but, like... I'm also weird, so, like... 
Um, I, I get it's it. Fine. I get it. Um, Alright, there it is. See, I knew where the Chansey Supply is here in whatever fucking city this is. I don't know. Cortonda, I think. Uh, so I want 16 more iron. Pay with cash. And then I want 25 HP up. So I need cash. Alright, so I'm good. Cool. I'm gonna spend all my fucking money on this. Um, bag. Here we go. 26 iron. I'm gonna use all of them. And then I wanna use all of the HP up. Cool. And now if we check its stats. Uh switchcraft you. Look at that shit. Right off the bat, it is yeah. level it is level one. <laughs> I'm so glad vitamins exist. <laughs> um Oh no, I just realized I might have fucked up. What did you do? Egg moves. No. Egg moves. I fucked up. Oh. Because I want defog on this thing. Oh. Shit. Well, on the plus side, your Froakie's done. Fuck. Oh man, I'm so mad at myself. I completely forgot. It's fine. I'll come up with a different strategy that doesn't need defog. It's fine. I'll just come up with a, a different move to put in its place because I don't feel like doing that shit. Are you? Are you? Are you going to? Are you going to be? Uh... Doing single battle or do we do singles? Singles. Fuck. Oh. Mm. Do you need an egg move on the Froki? What's up? Do you need any egg moves on the Froki? Uh, hold on. Let me, let me check real quick. Aw, oh, man. I didn't save before any of this. God damn it, I'm stuck with this stupid mistake that I've made. Um. Alright, hold on. Spikes. Spikes? Okay. I could always switch that one out too, but... Because it's because it's gonna be more of a lead in than anything else, mm. you know. Mm. Oh, that one will be fine. Oh God, damn it. Okay. Um, fortunately, defog is the only. Uh, egg move I need on this thing. But man, I just wasted all that money on all those vitamins, and I'm not even going to be using this particular rookity. Shit. Okay. Um, this is why I should be doing this late at night when I haven't slept. Um... Okay, what Pokemon learn Defog that I already have? What 
so mad. I'm so genuinely mad at myself now. Ah. Good breath. I hate this geometry, dude. It sucks. Uh, Try this. Oh, good. Let me say what you need. It just never works. Damn, I don't. Hold on. Oh, that might not be true. Uh, hold on. I don't have a single Pokemon that just already knows Defog. Alright, uh, shit. It's is is defog a TM? It's what not on uh not for Corviknight. It's a it's an egg move. Hmm. Um, but Alright, hold on. I'm gonna look for Pokemon that I have that can learn it. Hold on, Dragonite can learn it. I have a Dragonite. But is Dragonite in the egg group that I need? Of course it's fucking not. Alright. Uh Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Please, please, please. Yes! Let's fucking go! Alright, now, now I need to know. Yes! Let's fucking go! Alright. Um. So apparently Wingle can learn Defog. <laughs> and is, a, yes. is in the same uh, egg group. Now the only problem becomes... Please let my other Corviknight be female. I didn't actually check that before I did all this. <sighs> Stars are aligning. They are aligning. Okay. So. Now I need to know. So it learns it through TM. Does it learn it through level up? Oh my gosh. What? Bro, my trophy was doing some digging down if I got into for real. There were so many eggs. Alright. Going crazy up in there. Lace is asking what SCP is that? What are you what are you talking about? Oh, the the SCP that my uh my talon flame is named after? It's some kind of firebird thing. I don't actually know SCPs all that much. I was just like, wouldn't it be funny if I, I made this after an SCP? And I was like, hmm. what's what's the closest one to Talonflame? Uh, oh my god. The, uh, the stars might not be aligning. I'm gonna have to go to the Pokemon Center to check something. Please, 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 please. All right, sorted by name. That didn't sound like a happy slam. No. Misery. Mel, what happened? Apparently
apparently Defog might not have a TM in this game. So now I have two. Okay, so it was so Defog was a thing in, in the TM machine. It was not in the TM machine. I'm looking this up on uh Cerebi right now. That's fucking bullshit. Add Pokemon. Uh... All right. Wingle is going back in the spank bank. <laughs> oh man, I'm so mad. All right, in that case, I'm going to come up with a different strat for Chamberlain than, that doesn't use Defog, because I... Oh, I'm mad. Um... Oh, you know what? I was looking to add a Steel-type move to my set anyway. That way I had coverage against Fairy-types. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I could I could add either flash cannon or iron head. Hopefully, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure of that before I fucking TM metal claw flash cannon iron head. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so. I'm thinking, um... Yeah. Ooh, or... Steel Wing. 10% chance to raise the user's defense by one, which I've already got a pretty high defense stat on this, so it would be f really funny to make that go even more, but I think I might just stick with... My special attack sucks. You, know, you could always go with the um. So I'd probably go with. You could always head. go with the body press heavy slam set. I could do, yeah. Basic. Basically, the idea is you just put fire defense on it, and then you just do damage that way. Yeah. All right. So hold on. That one's gonna be body press. And then heavy slam. Yeah. I don't know if it gets both, but it definitely gets one of those moves. It, it gets both. Yeah. It should so, do anyway. It, yeah, good. It, it, just... covers, it covers its stuff. So. Alright, and then... Um, so, last two moves. You probably want... Maybe Roost? Roost is on here already. And I had U-Turn on here as well. Uh... Yeah, and anything else you can... That I'll, I'll wait for the year decision. I'll just put Iron Head on it so I have... Um, uh, fucking... Uh, yeah. Iron Head just so I have a Steel-type move. Um, and then its ability... Uh, mirror armor would be funny, but I'm not going to ask you for another ability patch. I don't even have one, so... Yeah. No, uh, mirror armor. If this Pokemon stat uh, stages would be lowered, the attackers are lowered instead. Um, but I'll just keep pressure on this one, so that'll be fine. Alright, so we have we have a, a new moveset. Alright, which is great. And then I'm just going to make sure real quick that this one learns all of these moves without egg moves. Alright, so... Iron Head, Heavy Slam, and then... Uh, 
see. Where's Roost? Come on, give me Roost. Don't. I'm going to shit bricks. What's going on? I'm pretty sure Roost is an egg move, too. It is. There's no way. Oh, that's so awful. Alright, cool. Roost is out, then. Um... <laughs> I'll just do Iron Defense. And then... Oh no, uh, oh no, Iron Defense is a level up move. Okay. Oh, I got scared for a second. Okay, so, the current strat right now <laughs> is, uh, Body Press, Heavy Slam, Iron Defense, and Iron Head. Um. Yeah. God, the fucking song that's playing on Lo-Fi right now is the, uh, chiptune remix of Superstition. <laughs> Alright. I see. Uh, uh. My rookie's about to get some Grandison. Jesus Christ. Because because I, I unfortunately forgot to put actually put spikes on my Greninja. So but now I'm doing that, so we're good. Yeah. Fortunately, Greninja learns spikes on level up, so it's great. Well that's good. Alright, so Iron Head, and then I'm gonna put U-turn on this thing actually. So then Maybe. Oh, wait. If it learned spikes on level up, I probably didn't need to, to breed one. I could have just gave you one. Sorry, um, what? Wait. No, Froakie doesn't. That's fine. Does Froakie learn spikes? No, but Greninja does, and it learns it on level up. You just gotta remember, Are you remember the move. I just realized that. Are you fucking that. kidding me? I'm so mad. Christ. Alright, I forgot how stressful this whole process can be. Yeah, you kind of gotta do, like, research before you, you pursue this kind of stuff. Yeah. But obviously, I, I did, that's, I, like, The worst part is, I did a little helpful. bit of research, and I still fucked this up, so... But it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so... Alright, SCP, you're going back in the box. Core of a Knight, you're going back in the box. We're gonna focus on Chamberlain for now. Getting these TMs down and everything. Bag, please tell me I have some of these TMs already. Alright, uh, sort by name. Alright, cannot learn. Oh, no, no, this is a different move. Okay, hold on. Do I have Heavy Slam? I do have Heavy Slam. It cannot learn it yet. Okay, so I gotta level it up. And then Iron Defense? Can't learn yet, and Iron Head can't learn yet. Alright, I gotta level this thing up now. Alright, Gen 8 Steel Type. Uh, how does it level up? Up to level 38. Okay, perfect. I need to go grind out some raids. That way I can get some EXP candies. Or, alternatively, I can just fight Pokemon. Thunderpunk! Alright. Cool. It's super effective. Oh, look at that. It leveled up nine times from that one Pokemon. Oh man, I'm 
I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live, but I'm gonna be mad at myself more than anything. It's okay. N now, now you know, and now you'll do further research before you proceed team building. No, no, it's I, I did the research and I just forgot. Ah. That's my problem. It's my problem, cat. I'm always angry. At myself, more than anything else. So recently, I wa I finally watched Rise of the Garden, one Dreamers movie with that one Tumblr sexy boy, Jack Frost. Yeah. Good movie, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed no, it. It's, it's a very good movie. It just got Tumblrized. You know? It got Tumblrized, and they shipped Jack Frost with Elsa. I will say to the day, day I die, that's a good shit. I, I don't care what anyone says. I, um, but. Sure. You know, I mean, I don't even know, I don't even know what Elsa's sexuality is. I have anymore. never, I just have I never know. gotten into like shipping characters from like different franchises. I just, and it, it's not that I don't understand it. It's that like, it just never crossed my mind. And I think it's a little out there, you know? I, I, I've definitely fallen out of it, but like, I just, I can't personally ignore when two characters have chemistry. Alright, um... But yeah, no, Rise oh, of the Guardians okay. is a, is a okay. very good movie. I need to watch it again. It's been a while since I've seen it. Speaking of movies that we probably don't remember, do you remember the movie Warm Bodies? I remember that it existed. I never actually saw it though. I, it's it, that's the rom com with the zombie in it, right? Yeah, it's a zombie rom com, a zom com, a, a, um, a, a zom com, if you will. Yeah. Um. Now you know me. I hate zombies. I think zombies are boring as all hell. Yeah. But I, and I'm right there. Zombies in a romantic it. comedy. Putting zombies in a romantic comedy. I don't know. It kind of saves it a bit for me for this movie. Also, um, your fuck you is is, is ready. All right, cool. Uh, give me a moment to fight these rufflets. Oh, and I finally, finally, finally watched Elemental. I still haven't I, seen know, Elemental. You know, this is the second. This is the second time where people were saying, "Oh, movie sucks, movie sucks, movie bad," and I watch it. And I'm like, "It's cute. What are you talking about?" Yeah, that's that's the impression. That's the impression that I've been getting with. Uh, elemental, just from what I've heard about it, I have not actually seen it, so I could not tell you. It's so it's so cute, though. it's so cute. All right, now quick question for you, just out of curiosity, do you happen to know offhand? Can I use PP ups on Revival Blessing? Is that like a thing that I can do, or is it stuck at one? I think so, although I don't know how high the PP goes all right i'll i'll look this although up. again it's yeah usually moves that have one pp don't usually are or how many pp does rare must even have no it has one because why would you need a little bit for it yeah no i don't know if you'll be able to raise it because that doesn't seem like a thing they would allow but you can try it if even if you try it, it'll just fail. It won't. It won't. It won't use up the, the PP up. Because now I'm curious. Uh, right, circuit type. It would be amazing if they could. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way they're gonna let that ability that, that ability get even any better. Yeah, that makes sense. It'd be really funny though. <laughs> it would be so funny. It would be so broken if 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 they allowed that. Punch. Ice to see you. All right. Oh no! Put this pants on here. Um. Put this. Put this. Have you ever heard? That just of... occurred to me. Like that's what you. 
that's where Putis came from because it, it's saying put dispense. That makes so much more sense. Oh my god. Have you ever heard of Putis Engage? <laughs> no. Putis Engage is a that's series of SFM shorts about two heavies looking for anime porn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh it's also one of the most well-crafted sfm things i've ever seen cinematographically cinematographically speaking um it is a just a visual treat and it is also about two heavies looking for <laughs> hentai <laughs> um it's really funny um But yeah, uh, Noodle talked about it in one of his videos on aspect ratios. And he was like, yeah, no, it's th this shit's really well crafted with the way that it uses, uh, you know, letterboxing and all that kind of thing. Because like, you know, the, the, the black bars on the screen, they, uh, they, they fucking use them like as like comic panels sometimes. The, the characters will just use them as fucking weapons in some scenes. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, super cool. Alright, cool. We have a Corvus Squire. I don't, you know what's ins that, that is insane to me? That they made a Route 1 bird have not have Roost as a as the natural move. That's insane to me. It's, it's a little fucked up, yeah. Alright, so I want... Why am I doing this? Hold on, wait. I can just sort by name. Why am I continuing to do this to myself? Alright, uh, I want... Heavy Slam. Heavy Weapons Guy. From the hit video game, Team Fortress 2. Still can't learn that one, but can it learn the Iron I am Heavy game? Weapons. You passed it. Christ. No, I know. I did... It wouldn't let me learn it. I gotta, I gotta actually evolve this thing into Corviknight. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, which is fine. I'll just go ahead and, uh, grab Froki from you real quick. Yep. And then, um, after that, I'm probably going to end the stream because we've been going on for quite some time now. Oh, yes. It is. It has been like three hours, so. It is almost Cal's bedtime. All right. Uh, so that, so that, so that pans out pretty, pretty, pretty well. I would say. Cool. Is it the is it the same code as last time? Indeed it is. Be careful, cover screen. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna take care of that, don't worry. Um here's what I will do instead, actually. Is I will Um I will put up the, the turnip <laughs> thing. Swag. A turnip cannot be coke squeezed or cajoled into producing blood. All efforts at obtaining blood from this vegetable will be futile. Alright, cool. We're gonna put that back on now. <laughs> cool. Oh, do you want it to be named? I can name it, I think. Okay. And even if I can't, I can just breed another one <laughs> and then name that one. That you can. So, it's not gonna be a huge issue. Um... Here, let's let's find a funny Pokemon to give you. I think you only can't rename a Pokemon if it's Wonder Traded. Yeah. To my knowledge. Ooh, it's a funny Pokemon I can give you. Hold on. Um. Ugh. <sighs> What version of the game do you have? Do you have Scarlet or Violet? I have Violet. Oh, I also have Violet. <laughs> and, and and my decks basically fold, you know, right. aside from like a few a few spare things I don't bother. I was using. oh I was gonna be like oh I could give you an Applin and then I was like oh. Um, Applin D's nuts. Cool. Oh, speaking of D's nuts, you know, actually hold on, I'll just give this to you. <laughs> Attention! If a communication error occurs or your system gets turned off while you're trading, you won't be able to trade Pokemon for a while.
Yeah. All right, I'm sending to D's nuts uh, to uh, Espada. Goodbye, D's nuts. You know, I I, I always wanted to try the. You no, know, you ever see that commercial for like those like freeze dried meat bits called D's nuts? No. So, it's the snack is literally called D's nuts and meat nuts. Oh, okay. And it's just freeze dried meat, but they call them meat nuts. I've always wanted to try them because like crunchy meat sounds interesting to me. That's just like beef jerky, but like drier. Yeah, a little like freeze dried meat. I don't know. It sounds interesting to me. I want to try it. One. All right. I think now that the trade has gone through, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do our goodbyes for for stream. <laughs> Put the signing off the screen on. SNL ending theme. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends. Mel, goodbye. do you do you want to do you want to know how I end my streams? How do you end your streams? I I I play the Blues Clues goodbye song in Japanese. I have thought about. I don't know. I I just got it. Go on. I was gonna say I have thought about doing a cover of the goodbye song from Bear in the Big Blue House. So. I I do not know how to set it up to set it up to where like I can just like uh like switch scenes to the end to my little ending to little to, to that song mm -hmm. on actual OBS. I know it's possible. I don't know how to do it though. Yeah, I I know it's possible. I just, that would be really convenient. I don't know how to do it either. That would um, be really convenient. But anyway, so... maybe, maybe maybe it's just a stream live stream, but maybe I don't know. I refuse to use Streamlabs. It takes up too many resources. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, Cal, if you would like to plug yourself before we sign off. Hey, I am Cal. Uh, I do art things on TikTok, Tumblr, and I am working on my YouTube channel on youtube.com slash I make I am making a Fraggle Rock review. Uh, for streams on Twitch, they're usually going to be around 1 p.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday. I didn't stream today because I sicky. That's uh, fair. But when I'm not sicky, that's what I'll. That's where I'll be. Yeah. So yeah. I just put a link okay. in chat, so there you go. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And then uh, you guys know me, so I'm not going to plug anything. Except my Tumblr. Go follow my Tumblr. Don't follow my Twitter. I don't use that anymore. It's the only social media platform worth having anymore. <laughs> and even then, it tests my patience sometimes. 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 Today today, today, I saw a, a Gamzy reference. A Gamzy macro reference. And I wanted to die. Anyway. So yeah. That's it. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye, right, everybody.